Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to Shook After Dark for our very special Sunday stream. And I am super excited. We've got a lot to talk about tonight. We're going to go ahead and react to Amberlynn's brand new video. We didn't get to do a reaction quite yet. And we're also going to talk about Foodie Beauty because she is mad, mad. She's on one. She's raging again. And I, I'm an eye for one. I'm actually really here for it because she was so boring. <laughs> I can't stand like prim and proper Chantal because we know it's all fake, right? We know it's all completely fake. So the mask is off yet again, as if we didn't already know what was under that mask. So I will go ahead and leave some timestamps down below for you guys that are watching on the replay. Let me go ahead and say hi to those that are arriving in the side chat. Welcome, everyone. Hi, Brittany. You were first. Okay, first. First, first, first. Welcome in, everyone. You win a prize. I don't know what it is yet. Um, you win this nasal spray. <laughs> uh, okay hi i just wanted to make like a quick statement i know that in california and also parts of mexico there's a hurricane going through so hurricane hillary so i just wanted to say i was thinking about you guys today i was watching the coverage and i just wanted to say stay safe to everyone out in california parts of mexico you know, the West Coast in general, if you are affected by this, because I heard that it is some places are expected to get 100 times the amount of rain or no, they're, they're expected to get the same amount of rain they get in a year, in one day or something like that. It's a lot. It's a lot. So anyways, stay safe, everybody. You caught the vid. There's so many storms and hurricanes, fires, Hawaii. Uh, that was like last week. Oh my goodness. Right. And the Canadian, there's Canadian wildfires going on right now. Welcome, Mika. Thank you for reminding me about that. I saw that on Twitter. There was a clip of just the whole forest was on fire. And I know like... Canada has been dealing with wildfires for like the past couple of months and it even like affected the air quality down here. It's a mess. Angelina, I know on top of everything else that's going on, we have all these, this crazy weather too, displacing people. I mean, Maui was so sad. I don't even have like words. For how devastating that was. Just watching, I can't imagine. So my heart goes out to you guys in Maui as well. Angelina Dugan, thank you for being a member for 11 months. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing pretty well. I just spent the day in Annapolis. So I was in, oh, I was in Richmond for a couple of days, Richmond, Virginia. And then I went up to Annapolis and oh my goodness, Annapolis was so cool. Someone, one of you guys actually recommended, I forget who it was. Sorry, excuse me. Maybe if you're out there listening, but one of you guys recommended I go see Annapolis and it was so cool. I'd, I'd never been there before. It's the, it's the capital of Maryland Honestly, it puts our capital, Harrisburg, to shame. Like, <laughs> Harrisburg is just, you know, just Harrisburg, you know. What kind? What's going on? Saw your Twitter pics. Oh, yes. Thank you. Honestly, I'm like kicking myself for not taking more pictures of the streets because the streets were so cool. It's a pretty, yeah, it's right on the water right on the water. They were having some sort of like festival there, like lobster or no seafood festival. And um, is Maryland safe for solo girls? Girl, it just depends. Some parts of Baltimore, no, I would not go to. 
but I think if you're going to like downtown Annapolis where all the action is, you'll be fine. Uh, but also if you're going to like downtown Baltimore, then you'll be fine. But yeah, certain places, no, I wouldn't go. Like right out, right outside of DC, I wouldn't go there alone as a girl. I mean, I, I just went there alone like a couple months ago, but. <laughs> and then certain parts of Baltimore, I wouldn't go to either. But yeah, if you're, as long as you're like downtown somewhere, usually that's like a safe bet. Heard you're doing a podcast with ALR. That's not happening, but <laughs> Frenemies 2.0. Should we do it? It's like that in almost every city. Yeah, that's true. As long as you just like stay downtown, you're good. Downtown. Anthony, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Maca's girl here. Happy Monday. No Chantel. Sorry. Yes. Oh, wait, that's not working. Uh-oh. Our audio is messed up already. We're off to a great start. Y'all, I swear to you. Okay, it's working. It's working now, right? No, Chantal, sorry. Whew. We got away again. That scared me for a second. Any of you guys that do like reactions or live streaming on a Mac, the audio situation is like annoying. But I just, it's worth it to do the Mac. I love how they say Maccas in Australia. Anyway, it's so good. <laughs> so funny. I have a charged lemonade, guys. So you know the live stream's going to be good. It's almost empty, though. But I saved it for the live stream. I drank, like, this much. You can't drink the whole thing in one go. Or else, you know, they didn't even put ice in it. So, like, I would have been... I drank to, like, here. And then I was like, I'm going to save that for my live stream. You want a Jordy collab? Let's do it, girls. We should do a mukbang. <laughs> Just kidding. An ALR reaction, right? Maybe I can ramble on about 2019. You just had to be there, Jordy. Like, <laughs> ALR. Mm -mm -mm. You want a podcast with ALR? I feel like if I did a podcast with ALR, it would just be a one, one episode, <laughs> a one time thing, because I don't think I could, you know, I mean, yeah, it would just be a one time thing. You know what I mean? It would be like having a podcast with Trisha Paytas. I mean, if we did try to do that, it would only last for like maybe a couple months. It would probably end in like a fight. Don't you guys think? CC Wolf, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Everybody's 11 months tonight. Wow. Is that the longest membership? I think it might be. Because we only had them. It's crazy that we even had them for 11 months because it feels like just yesterday that I got the memberships. I like your hair, Alex. Thank you, CC. I just dyed it like the other day. And honestly, I wasn't that happy about it because. I don't know. I picked the wrong color. I just like ran into CVS, grabbed something and left when I should have just took the time because now it doesn't really matter because my hair grows like super fast. It'll be like gray by tomorrow, unfortunately, <laughs> but it looks kind of red. Like it's giving Archie from Riverdale. And that's not what I was going for. I wanted like what I usually do, which is a very light brown. Well, not very light, but I get the light brown and then when I put it on my hair, it looks, it, I get the light brown. When I put it on my hair, it looks brown, you know, because my hair is like black. It's not quite black, but it's almost black. Scissor Sister, thank you for being a member for 11 months again. Felt all shake here in downtown LA, but I'm glad to be shook. Is that what that stands for? Downtown LA? felt a little shake oh you mean it, there was like an earthquake right that's what i heard there was like a little earthquake 
on top of everything else. Like what? This. Okay, my mouse is like not working either. What the heck is going on? It's working now. Girl, we're having like technical difficulties. Who's mad mad at foodie? I think my mouse is working. Yeah, it's working. False alarm, false alarm. What is wrong with the world? Okay. Kelsey, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Okay. It must be that everybody that's 11 months signed up as soon as I got the memberships, right? So you guys are like the OG sugars. That makes sense, right? So it must have been like 11 months to the day that I made the memberships. Thank you, Kelsey. And hi, OG girlies. Hi, Alex. Thank you, Kelsey. Welcome. Didn't place in a quad. Or thank you, Alex Gray, for the super chat. Didn't place in a quad skate comp, but made it here. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry that you didn't place, hun. But good for you that you can skate because I can't even skate. <laughs> I would just fall down. I knee pads are necessary for me for sure. I used to rollerblade. I used to rollerblade back in the day. I can't like I can rollerblade, but I can't do like the skates at the skating rink. I don't know what it is. I just the skates are not for me. I've never been able to skate, but I can rollerblade. I kind of want to get rollerblades. Who wants to go rollerblading? Tito, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Smiley face. Thank you. Welcome. Welcome. Our OG sugars in the house. Hey, Alex, I missed last stream. I was in Alaska. Hi, Sean. Alaska. I kind of want to go to Alaska, too. Maybe go. Is it better to go in the summer when it's hot? Or do you want to go? I mean, it's never hot in Alaska, right? But or is it better to go in the winter or maybe not like the winter winter, but like not the dead of winter, but like so that you can see snow because it's Alaska. So you want to see snow, right? I don't know. But I want to see Juno. I'm kind of like into the like capitals. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> That's my thing. I went to Richmond. Then I went to Annapolis. Of course, DC. I've been like a hundred times. I just like capitals. But also Anchorage. But you know what? Juno and Anchorage are actually really, really far away from each other. Like people don't know that. I think. Can we get an eggs? Of course. So let's do a poll. Eggs. Eggs. ALR will go with you to rollerblade. Um, <laughs> you can push her in an adult stroller. Adult stroller. Interesting. Interesting. Trenton. Yeah, maybe I'll go to Trenton. I've never been. I've never been. It's not that far. Capital girly, come on Hunger Games. <laughs> it's kind of getting like the Hunger Games, but more so LA is the capital, like the Hunger Games kind of capital. You know what I mean? Where like all the celebrities look like they're so out of touch and they're dressed so outrageously. So it's not like DC is the capital, but like LA is the Hunger Games capital. You know, <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> It was give it like Doja Cat, like dressed up as a cat. That was giving Hunger Games or like whenever they do the Met Gala. That's what it's called. It's giving Hunger Games because there's literally people that are like starving and you're doing this shit. I don't know. It just. I don't know. It's not giving what it used to give these days because they just feel so out of touch hello to everyone from quebec that's on my list quebec is on the travel list for sure Mon montreal <laughs> it's been a while since i got to say montreal can we get a doozy we've got a doozy it's been a while since i said that 
You're on vacay in Jamaica. Yes, Denise, welcome. Get it with the Jamaica. Sit on the beach. That sounds relaxing. AF. QC City. Oh, Quebec City. Yes. I just feel like Quebec, it's like the closest thing that you can get to Europe without actually going over to Europe. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's a lot easier for me to get to Canada, obviously, than Paris. <sighs> Slay Denise. Do I live by Harrisburg? Yeah, I live like pretty close to Harrisburg. Like I could go there for a day trip whenever I want. Less than an hour. There's not really too much there though. There's a few museums. Where were you in the last video? Richmond. Yeah, everyone's on vacay. Yes. It seems so. Everyone's like doing their little last hurrah moment. Don't go to Trenton. It's too dangerous. Is it? I'll have to look up and see if there's anything really to do. Most of the capitals have museums and stuff. And like a rich history. At least like, you know, Richmond, Annapolis, Harrisburg, they all have like history and museums. But I don't know. I don't know about Trenton. <laughs> it's giving dirty Jersey. <laughs> okay. Should we do it? Let's do a poll to figure out what we should watch first. First. Because we haven't gotten to the new Amberlynn video yet. Which is crazy because usually we're on top of it. Harrisburg is so boring. Oh my God. Yeah. Jordy. It Yeah, it's not as cool as Annapolis, that's for sure. There's nothing really to do there. I used to like going when I was a kid, though. There's this science museum for kids in Harrisburg that, like, yeah, if you could take your kids there, it's called, like, the Whitaker Center. I would say go to that. Because I love that. We would go like once a year when I was a kid. Okay, so vote in the poll to see what you want first. Check out Fargo. That's um, North Dakota. I kind of want to see South Dakota or North Dakota. I don't know why. It's so like there's not that many people there. But also Wyoming, because Wyoming's like the least populated, right? Camden, New Jersey's frightening. Yeah, I would never go to Camden. <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually been to Camden. But I've always heard that that's like the worst place in New Jersey. It's right next to Philly. So, I mean, and Jersey has like a lot of kind of sketchy places. So for that to be the worst, it has to be pretty bad. Linda Hickey, thank you for being a member for 11 months. Hi, Alex. So glad to see you live live. Never disappoint. Thank you, Linda. Welcome in. It's 50-50, y'all. Vote in the poll. Vote in the poll. Get your votes in. Get your votes in. I did, what, what was the, I did a poll on Twitter recently that was also 50-50, but I can't remember what it was. Hold on, guys. Upstate New York isn't really New York. I like upstate New York. Well, does Ithaca count as upstate? It's not that far upstate. But I really liked Ithaca. That was nice. The waterfalls and stuff. Don't badmouth my lovely state. Oh, there's some nice parts of New Jersey. I know there's some nice parts. North Jersey. Like the Real Housewives. The Real Housewives live... Well, they used to live in like Franklin Lakes. 
I remember when I went to Boston, I passed through Franklin Lakes. Like there was a sign that said like, turn here to go to Franklin Lakes. And I almost like wanted to get off the highway <laughs> just so I could see like Teresa's old house or something. But I don't know if it's in like a gated community or not. I don't think it actually is. I think it's behind its own. It has like its own gate. Anyways, okay, I guess it's I guess it's gonna be Emberlin. I mean the poll's really, really close, but I guess it's gonna be Emberlin. Hoboken is cute. Oh, I always heard that Hoboken's like hipstery. Hoboken no joking. I remember in Real Housewives of New Jersey again, the boys lived in Hoboken. So I did this poll. <laughs> Y'all, I need to share this with the YouTube audience. I did this poll on Twitter. Where is it? Okay, here it is. And the poll was, who do you think is most likely to stay on track for good? Right? And this was called the impossible poll. Amber Lynn or Foodie Beauty? And Amber Lynn won with 82% and Foodie got 18. <laughs> so people have that little faith in Foodie that 82% see Amber getting her life together first. Can you imagine if someone said that about you? <laughs> if 82% of people said that about you, Amber Lynn's more likely to get her life together than you. I think I would lose it, but okay. I'm going to cut it off here or let's cut it off at five minutes. Yeah. 82%. I was like, I don't know. I don't know how this poll is going to go. It's like, it's called the impossible poll for a reason, right? Nobody believes in foodie. Mm -mm -mm. When you voted, it was seven ninety three, right? It started off like, a hundred percent Amberlynn. And then there was like a couple foodie booty votes that came in. Foodie's older for sure. Foodie's 39. It'll be interesting when she turns 40. Like what is she going to do to celebrate the big 40? I remember my mom's 40th birthday. I was pretty young, but my mom had me like kind of late. Like she was like 32 maybe. I don't know. Yeah, like 32, 33, something like that. A little bit later for like those times. I feel like now it's kind of like normal to have a baby at 33, but back in the 90s, it wasn't like unusual, but it's like a little bit later. It's kind of weird that I have like no babies. I have no babies, no property, <laughs> no babies, no property, no nothing. My dad literally had like, two properties by 30 like he owned two properties by 30 and I'm like what the heck but that was different times you know it was just easier to do that and I've got nothing I've got a car that's worth like five thousand dollars <laughs> and it'll only go down anyways okay let's get into the Amberlynn reaction guys that's the only property I have oh shoot we didn't set it up well, crap, how am I going to do this? Receipts. Mm. Oh, wait, it's just behind this. There we go. Okay, delete this. Is it this one? Good thing I didn't have any adult content on the screen. Just, <laughs> just kidding. I would never be looking at that on a live stream. Did you guys see the one guy on Twitch was looking at like AI generated adult content, like fakes of a girl that was on Twitch and then it was really messed up. Like that's so messed up. It's called like deep fake adult content and like they don't give their permit. Obviously, they don't give their permission to be like that. And that's just like, like this AI thing is going to go crazy because the fact that they can make like adult content with your face is so scary. 
soon they're going to be able to make like videos or they already can pretty much. They're just, they just don't look that great, but they can make videos of you saying something, you know? And just think if they made like Joe Biden saying something like, I'm going to nuke the world or something. I don't know. It could be bad. It could get really bad. Anyways, off topic. Let's get into it. Apartment hunting situation. Oh, let's start it from the beginning. Apartment hunting situation. Oh, I show speed. I saw the I show speed situation. Um, wow. I feel bad for the dude. <laughs> I'm glad YouTube just like YouTube was basically just like I we didn't see nothing. We didn't see anything. If you make them a lot of money, they kind of just like turn the other cheek. But I'm glad they did because it was a mistake and Y'all, I swear to you, this apartment hunting situation type deal is not my favorite thing. Hello, welcome to a vlog, by the way. I just am <sighs> I just want to know, like, where she's apartment hunting, you know? I just got off the phone with someone and they... Do you think she's doing, like, Oklahoma City suburbs or something like that? I don't know. I don't see Amber as, like, a downtown girly in this moment in time. She's more of, like, a suburbs girly. But, like, Lexington... I think she does live downtown, but it's Lexington, you know? It's not that big of a city. You're so mean. I'm just like, okay, let's calm Wait, down. Wait, the lady was please. mean? It's just like the way that they were like answering my questions about like me having three pets. They were just like so mean about it. And I'm like, you could have just like calmly told me that I can't have three pets. It's fine. And it actually sucks because like it was my favorite apartment. Um, it was so unique to anything I've ever lived in. Like, I feel like this is going to be very difficult for her. I mean... Number one in the housing market that we're living in right now. It's pretty difficult depending on where you're looking, right? I mean, there's some places you get apartment today, right? But also, she has all these filters on. Like, she needs a very specific things. And she needs to have three pets. It's not going to be easy for her. A lot of places don't want any pets. Uh, honestly, crazy looking. Like, it looked really nice. Only two pets allowed and I'm just like struggling with that aspect. But currently right now, because I'm making notes of everything, I have four apartments that I am interested in. She should move to Miami. <laughs> Why do you say that? That's kind of random. Isn't Miami known for like slim, beautiful women? Nope, actually three. Excuse me. So three apartments that I'm interested in. Not that Ambi isn't cute in that allows three pets um washer and dryer i feel like that's like my main thing also like open floor plan for the most part i she definitely needs a washer dryer i can't imagine amber hauling a load to the laundromat can y'all love a good but maybe that would be good for her i mean exercise modern moment like i don't want things to seem like they were built in the 90s that's oh yeah she has to also like she has to jump through the hurdle of having YouTube as her income. And like some landlords will get it and some won't. That's also a hurdle for her. Not really my um, favorite thing in the world. So, hey, you guys. So my friend. And I doubt that Amber has like all of her paperwork together. You know what I mean? You could always do like your own pay stubs. Like if you do YouTube, you could also have an LLC. And you could make your own pay stubs, but I doubt Amber like has her own pay stubs, you know. Just 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 putting that out there. Doubt it. X to doubt. She low-key talked me into weighing myself today. I wasn't going to because I did yesterday, and as you guys know. Wait, who talked her into it? Um favorite thing in the world. So hey you guys, so my friend. Who the F is that? Who's the friend? She low-key talked me into weighing myself today. Is her credit really in the 500s? Where have you heard that? Yeah, that's not good. 
Imagine making that much money and having 500 and 520 as your credit score or something. Her credit score matches her weight. I can't believe I just said that. Where's your man Pondu member for three months? Amber needs one of those foodie loopholes. Yes. We need a loophole. Maybe her friend is a landlord or a realtor or something. I don't know. <laughs> can she just go to like, can she just make a relationship with an agent and then they can like help her find something? Maybe. I don't know. Something like that. I wasn't going to because I did yesterday. And as you guys know, I was so freaking excited. The only reason people like, like the reason people speculate that she has a low credit score, I think is because she probably didn't pay her student loans back. Also the medical bills, there was medical bills in collection, which to be honest, I don't, I, my personal belief is that I don't think that medical bills should affect your credit score, but they do. They do. I've had like multiple ones on there before. Luckily, I've been able to pay all of mine off. But they do affect it. You know. Oh my god. Eight pounds in two days? Like, what? Ma'am. So. You gotta get Credit Karma. I really um, recommend Credit Karma because it'll tell you every medical bill or every whatever. Every bill that you have outstanding. If you are an irresponsible girly in the past. <laughs> I am going to get naked. <laughs> really? Not for you guys. And I'm going to weigh myself. Because I've been awake for a couple. They don't. They do affect your credit score, though. I mean, I've had them on my thing. Anymore. Oh, I guess they changed it then. Well, I paid them all off in like 2019. But they did, they did, back in the day, they did. They might have just changed it. Hours, and I still have not ate. Alrighty, so it is August 17th. Let's do this thing. Hello. It's hey, ready. So let's keep in mind that yesterday I was 535.2. So let's see. 532.2 oh, This is a joke. 532. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. 532. Yay. <laughs> Yay. 532. Yay. Oh my god. No way. 532.2 pounds. 532.2 bitches! Oh my god, wait a minute. Yay, yay. That is a lot of weight in three days. I'm so glad I weighed myself. Wow. I just can't get over how like, happy she is. I just, I wouldn't be that happy. I mean, well, at least it's going in the right direction, right? I, I can't even really say that anymore still in my bra i just had to say like wait in three days i've lost over 10 pounds that is how much water i was retaining i'm is that really what it was water retention is that from the sodium right because she was so off track getting takeout and takeout is notorious for high sodium levels shook obviously that makes me so happy she's shook. i need this water off of my body yes oh my god i just feel so proud ah! and yes that includes me eating my favorite freaking meal which is that mediterranean freaking meal i've had it every single day Why what's the sodium content like <laughs> she's gonna celebrate with a meal yo oh, did i finally find a plan that's gonna work for your girl what even is it? Did I miss it? Did I forget? I don't even know what it is. I think so. The okay, plan. so let's feed the twinksters. Come on, you want foodsies? What's the, the plan? Another... Laxative abuse. Just kidding. <laughs> don't do that. Little dog food container. So per vet's instructions, 
Twice a day, she just gets a scoop. There you go. Give me paw. Good girl. And then she always gives me paw. <laughs> okay. Before she eats. It's so cute. But I do have to say the one thing good that Amber has done in the past couple of years is she has gotten Twinkie's weight under control. It's not easy with a small dog. It's really easy to... It's really easy for a small dog to get overweight. So the one thing good that she has done is Twinkie looks about perfect. I wanted to talk about self-love because I'm in that journey right now. And like, self-love isn't black and white. Like, at all. In the slightest. It's not what I feel like some people make it out to be. Self-love can be anything that is good for you and that makes you feel good. That could be like the hard stuff, the therapy, the dieting. <laughs> like, it could be the... Yeah, she's got her dog on a good diet, but not herself. <laughs> I guess it's easy to just do two scoops of food, right? And take her out. Oh, yeah, Feline did it. That's possible, too, that it was mostly because of Feline taking her out. Because, no offense, but... Becky was probably a bit lazy. Hard stuff, but it's also the good stuff. Because I mentioned, like, how I want to dance in the shower again, and people are like... How's that self-love? Dance has always been a big part of my life. I used to be a dancer when I was younger. I Didn't that person like come, she was a water girl or something. They felt sorry for her. <laughs> so if you guys don't remember this or you didn't hear it, there was a woman who came on Reddit anonymously and she said that she was associated with the dance group that Amberlynn claimed to dance with and that she was like the water girl or like she would do little tasks for them because I don't know. She was like a foster kid. She needed something to do. They, they like kept her busy and she could dance a bit, but she wasn't really on the team. If that makes sense. It's hard to believe because look at me now but i was i was a dancer that's i felt alive kind while of. dancing <laughs> and i don't dance anymore i don't it's also because i can't <laughs> like i can't dance in this body Stop. remember when she used to do the just dance i live for the applause 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 can she do that again <laughs> i guess not she should do just dance i mean i feel like for well is it I don't know. I was watching Lindsay with an A and she was talking about foodie beauty exercising and how she needs to do, do it under the supervision of someone who like has worked with obese people before because she's at such high risk if something were to happen. And I feel like that's also applicable to Amber. But a little Just Dance situation. I don't, can she? I, I don't know. It's not like self-hatred like oh i can't dance in this body that might be bad because she might something might pull out if she's making too many sudden movements bish love yourself enough to try and for me dancing in the shower singing in the shower is my own form singing of therapy that the isn't shower. therapy like i'm allowed to do two things at once I'm allowed to do the hard self-love. I'm also allowed to do the fun self-love. Like, go buy that freaking eyeshadow that you've been wanting forever. There's so many different versions of self-love. Like, it's not black and white. It's literally the rainbow. Go buy an eyeshadow. Retail therapy. Amber takes retail therapy to the next level, though. And that's what I love about this journey because I just want to treat myself right. I want to fall in love with myself. Like I posted a new picture on Instagram where I was like, literally fall in love with yourself. Maybe she could write like a list of things that she wants since she loves shopping so much. She could write a list of things that she wants. And for each, so like every 10 pounds, right? She could buy something that she wants and it would increasingly get better. So like the first one would be a journal, then like a bracelet, then like, I don't know. And then at the end, it would be like that Louis Vuitton that she always wanted. Maybe that would work. I don't know. Probably not. She'll probably just buy whatever she wants anyway. <laughs>
That seems <laughs> impossible for me because like there are so many things about myself that I like just say bad things about and sometimes like I sit here and I'm like do I hate the person that I am or do I hate the person that like so many people on YouTube has made me believe that I am and that's I think she did try it to be honest art something I talk about in therapy that is something that I journal about I have the answer I, I love who I am, but you can love who you are and still want to change aspects about yourself. You can love who you are and still have tons of imperfections and still fall in love with yourself. And I, I just, I, I know that by loving myself, the only answer is that I am going to become a better version of myself. And that is all I want. That is all I want. I want to be a better version of me. Okay, you guys, so I've been doing this whole apartment okay. thing. I've been playing phone tag. I've been playing email <laughs> tag with all these apartments. I have to admit, sometimes when Amber goes on these, like, tangents and the word salads, I kind of zone out a little bit. But I got the gist of it. And earlier, I had my top three, and now I have my top two. So we're making progress. And it's, like, two places that I genuinely can see myself, like, happy at. And... <laughs> excited for so i wasn't expecting that i'm trying to decide which one like should i apply for or should i apply for both like i just i'm kind of like excited to see how this goes don't know uh i don't know it sucks that you have to pay like 40 dollars to a, just to apply because if you don't get it then like there goes your 40 bucks <laughs> I know it's 40 it's only $40 but like $40 is $40 right what can you buy with that like a dinner yeah you gummies. guys you can buy like gummies MJ gummies for that <laughs> has she addressed Becky no nope I don't think she ever will your girl's about to put in an application <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I just can't believe this is happening. Sometimes I feel like I'm like, maybe in a state of shock and then it'll hit me and then the emotions will come. I don't know. But I am officially about to put in an application to the apartment that I want. It could all be fake, but she seems to be in better spirits um, since what we have seen recently with the whole wifey breakup. And I am excited and nervous and um, yeah. So I just wanted to give you guys that update because the ball is rolling, folks. Not me about to have my nightly meatballs. I've been having this every night for like four nights. Oh, right. That's like a tank of gas for a small car. <laughs> That's like a tank of gas for me, but I have a compact car. I feel like I'm just eating the same things every day. But I'm gonna have it with mustard tonight. I feel like that's gonna taste so good. She seems Hello. manic. Hello, so it's actually the next day. Did I wear purple yesterday? I feel like I did. I honestly don't even remember, but... Oh, the heart peekaboo. I love a good peekaboo moment. <laughs> today is a two-dayer in this vlog because I don't think I had enough footage yesterday. Yesterday was just so stressful with the whole apartment thing, whatever it may be. So I just like... Girl, you literally just sit on your butt. Well, yeah, apartment apartment hunting. I almost said C. <laughs> Can be stressful. No, it's actually not sped up. She's just talking that fast. I don't even want to think about it today, but I will give you guys an update in a future vlog. I promise. But this is before I do my hair and my makeup and we're going to do an after. So I'll see you guys in one second for me. It's giving men a night again. It's gonna be like an hour. Okay, well, hair is done. Makeup is done. Now it's giving sinner. <laughs> um, I decided to wear a lipstick that I haven't worn in a hot minute. Um, it's not expired yet, but this is just the one that I used to wear all the time, HD Kisses. If you know, you know. Like I've even seen I do know. names on here uh, named HD Kisses. because you. I think I've seen HD Kisses before too. You guys know, like this used to be my absolute favorite. It's Revlon. And I, I love the usernames that are like a girl world moment. <laughs> so good. Is there any in here? 
I don't see anybody. Any girl world moment usernames like Chantal's back scratcher spoon or something like that. I don't see anybody. Okay. Rage Pinky Cadillac. Is that one? I don't know. I just noticed that I'm not sure I like it anymore. Weird, I know. I honestly think it's so weird how, like, right now I'm using my phone and my last clips I was using my camera, how both my camera and my phone, like, the color ain't adding up. Like, what do I really look like? I, I don't know. Like, camera makes me look really washed out, really white. That's not... I remember there was lobster mac and cheese. Lobster mac and cheese farts was... Or I think they're still around. FBI Frank. Yes, there's a lot of FBI. There's a couple of FBI Frank accounts. Orange Chicken. Yet yeah, Lobster Mac. Yeah. I look like this makes me look more like yellow. Oh, yeah, toned, FBI Frank. Like, yeah, hey, I'm girly. I don't have like pink undertone. I have like the yellow undertone, but it's not as bad in person. Like, I'm looking at myself in this freaking Lies. mirror and I'm just like, why can't anything just be accurate? I don't this get is her it. phone. Like, yeah. It's so weird. Okay, you guys, so I'm about to make um, onion. You can just tell it's her phone, but why does it look so bad? I feel like when I record video on my phone, it doesn't look that bad. And broccoli and turkey kielbasa. You guys have seen me do this like a hundred times. And we're going to be using this knife today. Turkey kielbasa. Turkey why gate. Why the heck not? Sausage Come gate. Come for me, folks. Come for me. So I onion think gate. Make a big batch of this so I can have some tomorrow. Can we make a gate out of this video? Apartment gate. So I'm just gonna cut this whole onion. Oh my God. Chantal's flaccid foreskin clothing. I think that's one of her, her turtleneck. <laughs> that's her turtleneck, Mika. <laughs> Usually I just do half at a time. I miss the right. turtleneck. Everyone cuts differently, folks. So let's just be nice. It'll be okay, I promise. I like my onion pieces to be... Remember she would put the turtleneck like over her chin. I'd never seen anybody do that before. A little bit bigger than the average Joe here. So I'm just gonna... Dice them like that. Does onion make you guys cry? Like sometimes I will literally Almost. be crying so hard, but right now I feel nothing. Weird. The last onion I cut though, oh my gosh. It was crazy how much my eyes were watering. Maybe this one has less cry serum. That is perfect. All right, so I've had the stove on and such, so I'm just gonna put that in there. And I also want... Oh, right, Amelia Fart does it. Yeah, but doesn't she do it as like a joke? I don't know. Like a ton of broccoli, because I did want um, rice, but I told myself I don't really need it. So yeah, this is gonna be like, I would say about three meals. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut these guys off cause it's a texture thing, folks. Oh, right. I saw someone say, what's up with Dee Dee's mom? Um, so Dee Dee's mom moved in with Natter and Debbie and there was a clip going around a sound bite of Dee Dee's mom asking Natter or she literally said, I think I'm begging you not to fight with her. It didn't sound like she was distressed or anything, but she was like, please don't fight with my daughter. You know, please don't fight with Debbie. Please don't fight with Debbie. Now, she didn't sound like desperate or distressed, but that just tells me that they're fighting in front of her. And who knows how bad it gets? Like, we've seen, I still can't believe that we've seen that. That was over a year ago now that that video came out of Natter. We don't need to relive it, you know. Is that still up? I haven't checked on that channel. What was it called again? Mm. Sam's Bar Lounge.
it's still up. Yeah, everything's still up. But they haven't uh they haven't uploaded in a year. I have like a weird like aversion to certain textures where I just can't do it like at all. So to give a little update on the moving thing. Yes. Um I'm pretty yeah, sure update. I have the exact date that I'm moving. And I just don't really want to say anything right now because I don't want to like jinx it. You never know, like, you just never know what's going to happen. Do you guys like broccoli? Right, you could lose it at the last minute. Imagine if they just like took it from her at the last minute. She's in the U-Haul driving to Oklahoma City and they're like, sorry, but bye. <laughs> oh my God. I think broccoli tastes better raw dipped in mustard like it is the best <laughs> mustard no I wanted to cook it today I figured no mustard give me creamy ranch or like thick ranch I mean, don't give me that watery ranch give me the thick ranch I've had enough raw broccoli to last me a lifetime <laughs> so gonna cook that i'm also gonna add some garlic obviously a little bit of seasoning all right so these are perfectly cut Girl. now it is time to cut my turkey kielbasa yes i try my hardest not to cut meat on right is she really gonna drive 13 hours i don't know Maybe she isn't. I mean, the Oklahoma City is just a speculation. Like wood. So that's why I changed the uh, cutting board. So I'm just going to cut them in half like that because I like smaller pieces. And then just cut it like so. Turkey kielbasa is so good. Like, oh my gosh. I don't want to know what's in here because I'll get creeped out because I'm not a meat girly. No. As I'm sitting here cutting turkey kielbasa. I swear humans are walking hypocrites. It's so funny. So I was really tempted to weigh myself today. But I didn't. I mean, that's so true. Everyone has something that they're a little bit hypocritical about. I really want to not do daily weigh-ins. Maybe every other day. Isn't that what she said? Daily weigh-ins are super triggering. If she could just stick to weekly weigh-ins, like, just do it and don't give it up. Just do one a week, and then you don't have to deal with these, like, fluctuations, messing with your head. Just do once a week and do it every week. Weigh-in Wednesday. It's content. It's healthier for your mind. Because <laughs> I feel like I'll weigh myself tomorrow. Okay, so we have the onion going getting caramelized caramelized i always add the kielbasa next why is there so much onion and then broccoli will probably That's be added in tea. in a couple minutes because i like my broccoli to like not be super soft but still have like a little crunch it's really oh sizzly it smells so good so i've been thinking um I have so much stuff from you guys in my P.O. box, but I don't know if I want to do a separate video. Like, I'm trying to decide if I want to, like, put it in vlogs. Of course, I dropped one. I don't know. I might actually just add a little bit in each vlog because I think it's fun to do it that way. But you guys have been amazing. My P.O. box does close soon. So oh, yeah, it's the end of the peel box moment. She can always get another one, though. I do appreciate everybody. You guys are literally so sweet and so kind. Your letters are amazing. So many of you open up to me, and you're just, like, the sweetest. Literally the sweetest. All right, so the seasoning I'm going to... The sweetest pie. Add garlic salt, of course. Obviously, mm. some pepper here. Some cayenne pepper, because we don't have any more... Uh, Red pepper flakes, sadly. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so good. Yeah, what is the point of, like, what is this dish? Onion. 
It's one third onion, one third sausage, one third broccoli. The onion ratio is too damn high. It's so filling. It's going to be awesome. I love making one meal that actually like is equivalent to three. It's a lot of food though. So then the other two times I don't have to cook. That's what she's got to do, right? Eat a lot of healthier options, a lot of low calorie because her stomach must be like really stretched. So it takes a lot to be full. But one thing that Chantal needs to work on is like just to eat slower and like chew more. Cause they always say it takes like 20 minutes to know if you're full. I mean, that's not true for me. Like for me, it takes me like 10 minutes to feel full. I guess it's different for everybody. Thank you, Emily, for the super chat. Happy Sunday, Alex. Always love your stream. Happy Sunday, girl. Thank you. I'll just eat my leftovers. And this right? The so onion isn't cooked yet. Delish. So this is what it's looking like. She needed to cook the onions more before she added the other stuff, right? Because the sausage is already cooked. It comes pre-cooked. And it smells so good. I'm going to add some actual minced garlic. I don't have any fresh right now, but I do have this. Okay, so it is finished. Now I'm gonna add some tapatio on top. I used to add tapatio to literally everything, but I stopped. It's not this stuff giving. Is so good. I'm back to using my phone again. <laughs> I don't think I would eat that. <laughs> not with that much onion for sure. I mean, I'm not really a sausage girly. Like, like I told you guys, I tried the chicken apple sausage, didn't like it. Maybe I would like some. I like hot dogs. <laughs> I know that's like controversial. <laughs> Don't cancel me. No I'm kidding. I do like hot dogs, though. A grilled hot dog. Alex May, thank you for the super chat. Hi, bestie. I'm also an Alex from PA. Happy Sunday. Thank you, Alex. Welcome in. PA girly in the house. <laughs> Did the garlic even cook? It feels like she just like put it on top, right? That's like the first thing you should put in the pan. No. Hi. This is so good. Oh my God. If you're an onion girly. I'm not. You'll love it. Mm. Oh, this is so good. I didn't need rice at all. Like at first I was so sad. I was like. Imagine her breath. I know I'm making the right decision, but like I really want rice. I'm glad I didn't make any. So I just finished eating. Right. Is she doing gummies? It's giving gummies. It was so good. So I want to talk a little bit more about like what things I'm doing like for self-love. Um, one of them is I am s fixing my sleeping schedule. That has been hard. You guys know that I've struggled with that and I've always struggled with that. I get it right and then I mess it up again. Literally has been like this since I the was a The sleeping child. schedule. It is trauma-induced. I've already talked to therapists about it. That's because she doesn't have a like quote-unquote regular job. But right now I am... I want to say like a few hours away or not even that like she doesn't have any she has responsibilities but she doesn't have any like time related responsibilities like she doesn't have a kid that she has to get up and like get ready for school and stuff like that from like the perfect sleeping schedule for me because everyone's sleeping schedule is different so me? that is something that i am making progress on and the reason is because like my sleeping schedule recently was at like such a bad area a bad spot and it made me so unproductive and with this self-love era and just like taking care of myself and taking care of things like i need to be productive and I'm i feel like my sleeping schedule is like pretty good but like i get up pretty early like six or seven but i only sleep like five hours every day Another thing I've changed, literally. Oh, is Bama Rush happening again? I have to watch. Most of this changed um, the day I stopped getting high. Which I love the documentary. The August, which also included no more soda. I was drinking diet soda. I was drinking regular soda. I'm talking like regular Dr. Pepper and regular root beer. Like, yikes. So now I'm just strictly drinking water. And that is literally it. Okay, so I'm officially about to start going through. Really? Some of my Christmas stuff. I kind of doubt that. We'll see her with the Diet Coke in the next episode. Thank you, Mr. Zongli, for being a member for one month. Gives platonic forehead smooches. Thank you, Mr. Zongli. Welcome, welcome. 
Marty McFly. Can she ever get weight loss surgery? What's the story with that? Love your channel. Um, so the weight loss surgery kind of just went away. <laughs> um, she w she said that she changed her mind, but a lot of people think that she wasn't approved at the end of the day. She could get it eventually if she actually stuck to something and stuck with it, I'm sure. Thank you, Marty. And some of my Halloween stuff. I'm just not really that much of a Halloween girly. So I feel like I'm probably just going to keep a couple things. She's not? I'm using my phone. She spent like thousands of dollars on Halloween decorations and has done so many like Halloween videos. And now she's not a Halloween girly. Right, the Naruto pumpkin. That was Becky's. I used to love that show when I was a kid. I'm sure you guys could tell the quality has changed. I started using it after I cooked my meal, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I didn't mean I'm not a Halloween girly. I meant I'm not like 100% oh. like a Halloween decor girly unless it's like cutesy. Girl, I, you've bought like thousands of stuff. I'm a Halloween girly because I love to dress up and stuff, but all right, well, let's okay. do this. Okay, so I currently have the dryer going, so. Why isn't she getting rid of Becky's? Like, why is she... <laughs> She doesn't even like Naruto. You hear that in the background? That's what that is. But this is the Halloween stuff I'm going to get rid of. Oh, and then that's what she's getting rid of. Of course, she's getting rid of Becky's pumpkin. Now I have to criticize that. <laughs> just kidding. She should get rid of it. Why is she keeping it? I'm literally just going to keep my cute pumpkins. I, I like really, those. Really like those. So a little update. They're giving booze. HD kisses. I literally have been wearing it for what time is it i want to say like seven hours and this is how much is still showing i think i'm remembering now very slowly but surely why i was obsessed with this lipstick like it like stains your lips and it's like wearable for like a long time and you know i had my meal wow. earlier i've been drinking my water i've been yapping and talking and doing and doing things and it still looks pretty good actually oh no we don't have much more left thank you lauren alums for the super chat she really is packing and moving with notices, give, and has nowhere locked in to go with an apartment. We aren't believing that. Right. She has nowhere locked in. Yeah. It's like clock's ticking, right? Clock's ticking, girly. I don't know if she's going to leave town <laughs> or move down the street, to be honest, at this point. I guess she'll take what she can get. See how this goes. Bama Rush just ended. <clears throat> it did. Darn it. I'm kind of sad that I missed it. I loved the Bama Rush documentary on HBO Max. That was so good. Eile, thank you for the super chat. Return the Naruto pumpkin to Becky immediately. Immediately. Thank you, Eile. <laughs> I don't think Becky would want it either because of the memories attached to it, doing it with Amber Lamb. Give it to the Goodwill. I kind of want to buy it as like an heirloom, Amber Lynn heirloom. Can I buy something, girl? I prefer how it looks <laughs> now that it's more like tamed down. You guys, it is super late. Imagine if I had that pumpkin in my background for the Halloween season. Girl, I need it. Right. Not me, not using my camera. My expensive ass camera. I'll give you like $15. <laughs> LOL. I do that. I will use this for months and months and months and everything's fine. And then, oh, yeah, was it white? It was like, wifey's. Hi, phone. I missed you, even though your quality sucks. Oh, shit. Was that wifey's? Oh, no, it wasn't Becky's. Crap. Y'all are right. Y'all y'all are right. I remember now. I just thought because Becky likes Naruto, so... Darn. Now I don't want it. <laughs> oh, I do want to end this vlog, but before I do, I have a birthday freaking shout-out that I want to give. I'm sorry that I look <laughs> like I have bags under my eyes. I am stressed I just, I'm going through a lot right now, okay? But from the bottom of my heart, I want to say... I'm going through a lot of stress. What did she say, uh, Erica? 
He flipped his car, and I'm just going through a lot of stress. <laughs> Something like that. Sasha, sir, I love you. I appreciate you. Who's Sasha? And I hope that you have an amazing freaking birthday. Anyway, you guys, I am going to end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. All right. That's it from Amber. What did you guys think? I mean, that was kind of interesting. A little bit longer than normal. 18 minute vlog. She's getting back to pumping out the vlogs recently. She took a little break there. It was just too much, guys. I think I got a little bit sunburned. I did put on, I literally put on SPF 30. Which makes me angry. Like, do I really need 50? Not. I never need 50 in my life. So I don't know what the deal is. It kind of hurts a little bit. Like it's, anyways, it's like itchy. Sasha was her cameo shout out. Sasha's the new wifey. Oh, really? What if she got with a bro? What if she got with a dude? <laughs> bro. Bro. I don't know. I, I'm excited to see this new era, but it's like, get to it, girl. Like, chop, chop. You know, get to the new era. Get to the new era. Sasha could be her GBF. Yeah. I actually knew a gay guy named Sasha. He was the only gay. Actually, no, he was like, there was two. Yeah, because my neighbor down the street was gay growing up. And, oh, new retinol. Oh, no. You know what it was? I just got something from the dermatologist. Maybe it was that. I used that, and then I went outside in the sun. Crap, I didn't even think about that. I think that's what it was. I should probably just stop using it until, unless I, like, don't go outside, you know? <gasps> or just use it at night. Or, no, it doesn't matter if you only use it at night because it's still, like, in your system. Or I don't know if it's, like, in your, you know what I mean. <laughs> I should just wait because I'm going to the beach tomorrow. So I'll just wait till I'm done with the beach and then use it. Oh, crap. SPF 30 on skin becomes SPF 15. Really? What? It's only at night. I do only use it at night. Yeah. I don't use it during the day and then go out in the sun. No. Get a big hat. Okay, I think I will do that. Just get the SPF 50. Yeah, but can you find like a SPF facial 50? Because if I use like the SPF 50, because I have an SPF 50, but it's like Target brand sport. If I put, I put it on my face in Florida and I literally broke out. So I need to find a specific facial 50, which I feel like will be a little bit hard. Anyways, okay, Neutrogena has one. Let's look for, use an umbrella. I want to tan though. <laughs> okay. All right, let's go to Queen of WTF. Don't use the spray on lotion. Remember Amber Lynn with the sunscreen? <laughs> I have that song stuck in my head. Do you guys know? Dear John, don't you know I was too young? That song is so good. Don't you think 19 is too young to be messed with the girl in the dress? Okay. Let me stop embarrassing myself. <laughs> We're going to watch Foodie Beauty being mad, mad in this video from Queen of WTF called Foodie Beauty Another Day, Another Rant. Go, go ahead and go over there and leave her a thumbs up. And subscribe. I will leave it linked down below. 
calls everyone vile while forgetting her own vile past. I'm honestly kind of happy that she's vile again because she was so boring. Let's go to her channel real quick and just kind of look at what she has been doing recently, recently. Thank you, Tanja Darling, for the super chat. Elta MD UV Clear, the best ever. Okay, I will write that down. Let me write that down in my phone. Where do you get that at? If I have to stop by the mall, is that like a Sephora? That sounds like Sephora E. <laughs> it doesn't sound like a Target situation. I got this really cool, like, Korean rubber mask from Sephora. It was like 12 to $15, I think, which is kind of crazy, but it was so good. I might just get another one because I think it'll make me, like, it'll feel good on, like, my semi-sunburn face. Oh, Sarah Vey has one. I'll probably just go with that because I'm, like, um... I'm a CeraVe girly. I always use that. Uber Pete's. Uber Pete's. It's like Uber Eats. I get it. I get it. Thank you for the super chat. First time getting to catch you live. Here's a super chat and name to make fun of. Oh, you already knew, girl. I am Mr. FFG. Also R and R at Target. Yes. I love a Target moment. Welcome, Uber Pete's Mr. FFG. Andy Ward, thank you for the super chat. Sasha is to start speculation. She knows YouTube. You're exactly right. You are exactly right, Andy. Anything to get a little speculation, right? That's the name of the game. That's what Amber and Foodie thrive on. With all the speculation, like, they don't really have anything. Especially Foodie, because her content, like... There's not much. We just sit here. Ooh. Sorry, I played a video. I just know in, in the last couple of weeks watching her mukbangs on these live streams, we just talk the whole time because it's so boring. Like she doesn't even do anything like we can still make it fun no matter how boring it is. But you got to talk the whole time. <laughs> so she did a shawarma mukbang. So here's what she's been up to recently. Live streams been more disgusting behavior. I missed you. So she said this was her first live stream back since 13 days when she was eating the onion rings. So my speculation is that she was spooked by Marty, right? Nobody has really ever gotten her to shut up. You know, I mean, so many people have gone after Chantal. So what she did was, what did she do? She posted Marty's like name and address or no, his name and city maybe. And then she deleted it. Deleted previous post because as a sane Beezer pointed out, I am not crap like people who support someone who swats, doxes and harasses innocent people. Girl, I'm not supporting nothing. I'm just sitting back with my popcorn. Remember when she said, I can't believe you guys aren't defending me. Why the hell would we defend you, girl? After everything. That's a joke. That's a joke, right? The nerve of you brainless people to accuse anyone from my community or myself of being vile. <laughs> girl, I mean, two things can be true at once. You're vile, AF. And there are a lot of Beezers that are vile AF. Look at Missy Moo. She was your biggest Beezer. And she was out there collecting information on people. Collecting information on people. And then putting it out there. Or dare ask how anyone can support me. But you all support these disgusting juvenile actions. It is C at its finest. Now back to ignoring you vile people. Girl, you're vile. If you do get harassed, I would suggest calling the authorities and reporting it as malicious doxing and harassment. No one should be harassed or bother just for watching an entertainer on YouTube. You're an entertainer? Question mark. 
<laughs> That's my question. Like, I don't even see her as an entertainer. I see her as someone who just is desperate for money, so she'll do anything. And that's why she eats every day. Notice how she don't come for my... She don't come for my views anymore. Because I guarantee you, I could do a mukbang. I could do a mukbang and I could get more than 9K on it. I know it's not going to do as well as the drama videos. And that's fine. But it still would do as good as her crappy mukbangs. I believe that 100%. She's the entertainment. Yes. She's not the entertainer. She's the entertainment. That's the difference. Okay, should we get into this brand new video? From, like I said, Queen of WTF. Go subscribe. Go leave a like. Like, like, like. Get them likes up. This channel has like some of the best clips like they just take the clips and you don't have to watch like the waste your life watching the two hour foodie boring live stream so I really appreciate this channel do a healthy mukbang yeah let's do it mm. Yeah, she's doing fetish content. I believe that 100%. I'm caving and having one shisha. My eyes are all messed up at the end of the night. <laughs> yes, I called in the troops, yes. That's another thing. She was supposed to quit shisha, and yet she didn't. <laughs> That's not new, though, is it? I'm bored, and yeah. Remember how many times she was supposed to quit gummies and then the next day she was having gummies? I have to smoke shisha. I can't like, I need to smoke once in a while, I think. It's too hard to quit everything. Life is so boring without stuff. <laughs> Girl, but for you, it's like a dire situation. Didn't she just say, this is what she does. And then she wonders why people become frustrated with her. She talks about how bad it is. Like, my lungs are so bad. Of course, I vape, right? But I'm not talking about how I have blood clots on my lungs and, you know, I want to quit eventually, but I'm not going to quit right now. <laughs> Anyways, back to foodie. She comes on and talks about how horrible it is. She does the same thing with her weight. I can't even move. I can't even go to the beach for 30 minutes. It's so bad. I need to get it together. And then the next day, Burger King. And she's done that for years now. And Shisha's not even, like, that great. Like, the vape is a lot less harmful than Shisha. Because you're smoking, like, for an hour. It's like smoking a cigarette for an hour. Can I do something with my mouth? No, it's like, I don't know. Oh, it's hard. It's so hard. No mukbang? I do have one, but I just haven't, like, finished editing. Am I safe? Yeah. <laughs> Why wouldn't I be? I can see there's a lot of bored weirdos in here already. Right, her content is haram. It kind of is, isn't it? It's gluttony. No life. Yeah, me too, Liliana. My boyfriend's, my husband is sleeping. <laughs> Not my boyfriend. My husband, my hubby. Oh, she called him her, I saw that on Twitter. She called Salah her boyfriend. Was that a Freudian slip? Yeah, it was a slip. Now they're going to make 800 videos about that. Foodie said boyfriend. She's fake married. Please grow up. Tell us something we don't know. So we have some big fat sack of shit who's uh, in a whole community of people who think it's okay to just dox people for no fucking reason. So um, just to let you know, people are going to come in here and be the lowest of the low. So It's not my community. I mean, who am I to go over there? And I wouldn't do it. But who am I to go over there to their community and start... Throwing my weight around. Um, meanwhile, hypocritically, they call me low. I don't dox innocent people and harass people on a daily basis. So. Right, not on a daily basis, but that doesn't mean you didn't do it multiple times. You're a known doxer. 
Just um, ignore them. And you know what? Most of you who are in the U.S. because this person is targeting visas for attention, which is the last we're giving this piece of crap, you definitely would go to his live stream and document, um, screenshot, document him threatening you, doxing you, which is completely illegal. And I would go to the police, especially if you're in the U.S. Um, we have an open investigation and a warrant to get his information. So, so I wanted to talk about this. Does Shisha give you a nicotine high? Mm. I don't know. Like, whenever I used to do hookah, my legs would, like, shake. I don't know why. I told this story about the girl that, like, made me do hookah when I was in college. I, like, didn't even want to go, but she was, like, I'll pay. She was, like, a rich girl from the suburbs, like, Philly suburbs. She used to, like, force me to do hookah with her. <laughs> on weekdays but yeah my legs would like shake walking into the subway foodie right but back to what she was saying she she has a warrant she doesn't have a warrant like people don't get warrants the police will get a warrant or put a warrant or the courts right the courts will decide like the clerks and stuff if you don't show up for your case like what happened to becky there was a warrant out for her because she didn't show up and that's like the most common warrant i think is when you have let's say a traffic ticket you don't show up to court they put out a warrant or whatever the offense might be but people don't get warrants on other people that doesn't even make sense which I know where he lives, but um, in the meantime, because they're slow at it, I'm not going to let them give up on it. I'm going to keep hounding them um, until he's arrested with criminal harassment. Until then, just be careful online and don't let him scare you away from doing what you want to do because he's a fat sack of crap who can't find his own dick. Thank you. She's going to call the, or she's going to hound the police about some internet BS. How is that going to work? Like, it's a Canadian police department. It's not even her. It was like her mom different country different cities like <laughs> i don't see this really going anywhere because they're not going to put that effort into it there's more important things to do visa nation he will be in jail living aura he will be don't worry um, we have two police departments um, who have reports on him. And don't think that because it's Canada, it doesn't matter. We can definitely reach out to your jurisdiction in Glencoe, Illinois. Don't worry about it. Well, I mean, I don't know if they're going to take this seriously or just like laugh at her. But that is true that Canada works very closely with the U.S. in regards to police. That is true. But I don't know if they're going to really care. <laughs> Trashy. I know. Like, they, they, the funny thing is they condemn me for being horrible person to justify you see in their comments take these people down um go after them but you guys are innocent people like these people are friggin' ridiculous they hate their lives they hate themselves no life at all Willa. i think that like the canadians have access to like american records i think like criminal you don't own the internet you don't get to say who gets to go live and who gets to hang out where if you harass people that's on you you're eventually going to get fucking arrested so Girl, you're yeah. going to get arrested. They're freaks, really. So they might call people to your house. Whatever, tell them to go away. Record the harassment and report it to the police. And give them the middle finger. That's what. Right, because I just saw on Twitter, I don't know where this came from or who did this, but people were, like, finding the names of the Beezers and stuff. If you're in Chantal's chat using your real name, I mean, that's a mistake. <laughs> or accounts that are linked to your real name you have to do it's so pathetic and childish like as if and the person former beezer who's dating this guy and you have the nerve the what? nerve to comment about my weight <laughs> you can't even see your privates i bet you a hundred dollars like give me a break and what so what's so what's so attractive can you tell me what's so attractive about a person you can't even see your privates doxing people making false squat calls uh, that's why I don't fuck with anyone and this girl world shit anymore. No, nope. it's not girl world. It's a completely different community. Same thing with your mama, because this guy will call out just boozing all day and night that you got yourself involved with. And then you want to come and blame us. It has nothing to do with us, sweetheart. For calling police on people. Meanwhile, this guy does that day and night on people. He comes for once. It has nothing to do with us crimes on his channel anyway whatever okay i'm going to get my shisha that is kind of crazy isn't it the whole situation 
I was thinking like, what happened this past week? Did he spook her to the point where this video is actually still up? Surprisingly enough, I thought for sure this would be deleted. Yeah, this is it. Look at her sucking down that hookah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Thinking she's hot shit. We'll be right back. All right. Relaxation mode. I refuse to be threatened by someone on the internet for watching a channel. That's exactly what he wants to do. He wants to thin my herd. <laughs> okay, whatever. I think she's mad because this is starting to affect her income. I think the mukbang views have gone down. Like, Beezers have actually left. Because, like I said, um, I think I forgot to finish that. Well, the Beezers' real names are being put out there. I saw it on Twitter. I think, like, just breezing today, like, retweeted it or something. But, um... So people are starting to leave... Her views are at an all-time low. Let's look at some of those views. Yeah, she didn't even crack 10K on this mukbang. Granted, it's it probably will crack 10K, but not yet. It's been up for over a day. Only 10K on this one. 11K, 11K. Her exercising got her 13. Maybe she should exercise some more then. <laughs> Or maybe not, right? She needs, like, someone someone who is knowledgeable in obese exercise to, like, watch her. But anyways, her views are down and her money's down. Her cameo probably fizzled out. I feel like with cameo, it's one of those things where at the beginning, yeah, you're going to get, like, quite a few. But eventually it just, like, goes down and down and down. That's just kind of how that works. Lauren, Lauren alums, thank you for the super chat. She can get an indoor walking pad for small spaces or a treadmill. She can walk, walk slowly indoors with balance handles and without being hot and covered. Right, that's true. She should definitely be exercising like off camera so that she doesn't have to be covered because that's also a big issue. And she was dealing with at the beach almost having a heat stroke. So going outside and exercising for her is completely out of the question. She will have a heat stroke. But I I definitely like the idea of the balance handles so that she has something to hold on to. Thank you, Lauren. Chantal isn't even fun. You don't think? I, I kind of... I'm still enjoying it. <laughs> It's gone like crazy lately and it has nothing to do with us reaction channels. So I'm kind of like just enjoying the mess. I think it's going to start getting bad again because she reopened that can of worms. I feel like Marty has kind of like, well, he was going for Missy Moo for a while there. But it seemed like he kind of cooled off on Chantal. Well, now she reopened that can of worms. Silver Hair Care, thank you for the super chat. Finally caught my first stream. Thank you, Silver Hair Care. Welcome, welcome. Should I do Silver Hair? <laughs> did I die? Yes, I did die it. I don't like the red. It was not supposed to be red. What was it called? Um... It was called medium golden mahogany brown. Does mahogany mean reddish? I didn't know that. I feel dumb now. He's not in a hurry. That's what I heard too. Like he is, it's a long game, right? I saw that too. Marty was in Missy Moo's parents' church's chat. <laughs> Just saying, hey. That doesn't, I, I don't care at all if people don't watch me for that reason. Whatever. Like, they're not really oh, supportive. Oh, shoot. Me, so I didn't know that. I did not know mahogany meant reddish. I don't care. <laughs> you know. Grow I the look hell like up. Archie. Like in his 30s. Look at my she's a little weak as fuck. Just like these people. Um, Girl, you're that's, weak, that's the AF. Of the low you can go. 
Wait, what was that? Um, but yeah, that's, that's the lowest of the low you can go. It sounded like she dropped a vase. Doxing people, swatting. Like, does he think? He, he thinks he can't be touched, exactly. Okay, well, this person didn't obey me. Fuck you. Who the hell are you? Like, you think you're the king of YouTube? Suck my friggin' whatever. Obey <laughs> like, me? I know, that's not... I don't think that's what it was. I think it was the fact that she was defending a predator. Good Muslim of me. When I'm angry and I'm defending myself, whatever. Like, there's no lower people than that online. That's what the- that's what- Just keep going, Chantal. Keep going, because I'm enjoying the show. It's only gonna get worse from here. Worse from here. The ironic thing is, these people do all of these things to people, um, laugh at potential suicides of people. They're just disgusting. Like, he thinks- Right, there was no actual SWAT, right? It's gonna affect me somehow, like- like, I'm responsible for his actions, so people are going to blame me. Of course, a lot of people are scared, because, like, people who are pussies are scared of this loser, but... Whatever. What can you do, right? <laughs> I like it with just a few beezers in here. <laughs> so, did she go away? What do you guys think? Um, She was scared. Girl, you cannot tell me that you were not scared this past week. Why were you not on? Why were you not on? You were spooked. You were spooked AF. That's why she wasn't on live stream for like 13 days on her best behavior, saying that she was working on her religion and like that was her focus. Reminds me of when I first started my channel. You're not yeah, there was no SWAT. You're not stop me from doing my, my job. You're not going to stop me from um, going live. You're not going to stop me from doing anything. I'm not the one to fuck with that way. We all learn that real quick. Oh, I haven't had this in forever. Feels she ain't going to do shit. Nice. They're just about I'm not the one to mess with. You just run your mouth. It's a hot uh, whatever. They literally just sit there night after night picking on people, the same people. Like as if they're any better. Meanwhile, they're doxing, um, calling SWAT. Like you're wasting police resources. Like get a life, honestly. I mean, you're no better than anyone else when it comes to picking on quote unquote picking on the same people. She spent freaking years talking about Natter and Dee Dee every single day. FFG, she can clap back, that's her thing. But she acts like she's so much better and she never does these things when she does it too. She's in the trenches. She's rolling around in the mud like everybody else. So don't act like you're any better. I hope he, I hope he gets arrested. But yeah, I've just been trying to like stay out of drama because like it's so sickening. Like I just want to watch it all burn down, burn themselves down. Like look at uh, what's her face, like going out with a pedo or a sex trafficker and has the nerve to be talking about me for years and years. All of these morons are, are proving themselves to be worse than me, but somehow target me in all of their videos. Well, I don't know, but I, it just... <laughs> I get the feeling that the Kaya situation was a one-off. I don't think that anybody else is doing that but who knows i mean really who knows it's so pathetic anytime i do something a little 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 wayward have the nerve to make like a three hour live stream about it right rolling around in the mud like a insert i love that i love that and then we'll just as well condone all of this behavior from what's his face like are you for real She's the YouTube's. They're all, I know, Golden Girl. They're all big, big hypocrites. Like, I can't. They're mm. all stroking this stupid idiot's ego while, meanwhile, like, they're all scared of him. The funniest thing is what happened with um, Missy Moo. Like, I somehow she expects sympathy from me now when she was just like, the, uh, just before she got turned on. You know what's so funny? She brings up the Kaya situation. Um, I was half expecting her to come on and like gloat about it. But also, she was best friends. Her best beezer was Karate Joe, who was a P-word. And it's just my theory that she knew. She knew this guy had a past. Because if you're that close with somebody, you know their real name, you know, like, you guys talk behind the scenes and everything. It just makes sense that she would already know. What do you guys think? Let's do a poll. Did she know about karate? Joe. 
who was outed as a P. Okay, Chirp Lab member for seven months. Hair compliments the eyes. Thank you, Chirp Lab. A lot of people seem to like it, so it's making me less upset about it. <laughs> Thank you, Chirp Lab. Thank you, Lauren alums. It's so very hot and muggy here. Her man should get her something to help her walk inside with without so many clothes. He should help not just film her. Right. I don't think that Salah is really doing too much to encourage her. I just think that he wants to like play his games, you know, which I don't blame him for just wanting to play his games. But she does need that support. It's hard for me to be like sympathetic and talk about like the support she needs but she does she needs that support from her partner he just sits there and films and talks very like fake like you got this honey okay so monotone like robot salah robot salah maybe he is a robot thank you lauren that's my new conspiracy theory Salah is the doll. Remember when she wanted an S-E-X doll? Salah is that doll. <laughs> Just kidding. That's dehumanizing. Literally. I am being dehumanized. It's just a joke. Minnesota. Nice-ish. Thank you for the super chat. She's scared. Marty can track down a lot of info that others don't want public. Chantal has a lot of things she's done in her past that she doesn't want out there. Really? You think Minnesota? Um, I know in Canada, the records are just not as public as they are here. But I'm sure that there's some way you can get them. I just don't know how. I'm not sure what she's done. Thank you, Minnesota. But nothing would surprise me. Does he have a job? Salah? Um, I think just the perfume business. All right, let's take the poll off. Did she know about Karate Joe? 86% say yes and 15 say that no, she didn't. So a lot of people think she knew. She was threatening to out Salah and I, which she has no information on. We literally have the same, same conversation screenshots that she has with uh, her husband. The only thing that Salah ever said was like, they revealed it before on her channel. It was like something like about how I was impulsive because remember that time I had a fight with him in Canada, that one fight mm -hmm. and he like had someone to talk to because we, we trusted them. Good thing we stopped trusting them whenever we did because since then she's been making videos on me every day, you know? Oh, Mr. and Mrs. Mill. So last week we discussed the Missy Moo situation. She kind of got herself involved, just like Chantal. She got herself involved in this situation. So she became the target, right? And now her channel is deleted or hidden or something. She could still come back. I believe it's 30 days. You have 30 days to sign back in after you delete your channel. And then after 30 days, it's gone forever. I do believe 100% that she is, I believe that 100% that she is, she's lurking on a troll account, probably on Twitter. There has been, whenever there's a new account, I'm like, is that Missy Moo? It's giving Missy Moo. in a way it's kind of like karma for her because like she was like hoping to suck up to him because karma everyone's is like afraid boyfriend. like they're so such pussies i can't even deal with it like don't talk to me if you're like that don't even come in my space and then she was like uh oh i have information to try to get in his good graces i have information on Salah. listen i've been outing myself on youtube for years there's nothing you can say about <laughs> well she has been outing herself i just wonder if there are any skeletons that we haven't seen yet because she has put so much out there herself. I mean, the Dingleberry situation is pretty bad, guys. <laughs> and she put that out there herself. On me, or, or find on me that I haven't outed myself already. So you're going to get real bored real quick, honeys. 
and the threes company situation. Well, the two threes company situations, the Natter and Debbie one that everybody knows about, but also the old threes company where she defecated and threw up at the same time and then mopped it up with her panties and left. <laughs> My God. That's insane. I know Liliana, and they're all getting their karma. I knew this would happen. They're all getting their karma. Um, Kaya has her karma. <sighs> it seems like the people that always throw karma out there are the ones that are literally karma's target. <laughs> Girl, you have karma coming for you, sweetheart. Karma, karma, karma. I don't even know if I believe in karma. I believe in like man, like the. There is something behind manifestation and also like the law of relativity or rule of relative or whatever it is. Like what you put out there like comes back to you. And that's very true. But karma being like a cosmic force, I don't know about all that, but there is something to it. Thank you, T.S. Yam Tav, for the super chat. Hey, sis, I've been struggling with sobriety during late night. Your Sunday lives help me to focus. I'm rooting for us. We make our own futures. Thank you, Tom, or sorry, Yam Tav. My contacts are like being weird. You got this, girly. I'm wishing the best for you. It gets better one day at a time. Don't forget one day at a time, you know? Do your best today and just think about today. Don't think about all the long-term stuff and it's like too much. Yeah. Thank you, Yom. And thank you, Jenny the Dancer, for being a member for seven months. Karma is your boyfriend, Alex. <laughs> Karma is a god. That's a good song. Thank you, Jenny. Bad habits are hard to kick, man. Especially like when you when you use them as like a comfort and like means of escape. Uh and you know what? It's so true because like when I got sober and stopped like lying and <laughs> just like being a crazy person, my life got a lot better. Maybe there's something to it. Because, like, it's such a weight off of your shoulders. Like, when you're deep in addiction, you're always lying. Like, I'm not on an, I'm not on anything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not, like, you know what I mean. You're always hiding something. So to not have to hide anymore is such a weight off of your shoulders. And it can almost be, like, it's a bad habit. You have to just get used to, yeah, I can just tell the truth. I mean, I'm... Sometimes I feel like I'm doing something bad when I'm not, if that makes sense. Like, I'll see a cop, right? And I'll be like, oh, crap. <laughs> and then I'll remember, oh, wait, you're doing absolutely nothing wrong. So why do you care? Like Shisha. So relaxing. I love it. I want to thank the Beezers who are still here and not afraid of that piece of crap. And then his girlfriend had the nerve to like message me on TikTok. I deleted it. Can I talk to you? I still think you're funny. You still think I'm funny, but you sit behind his fat ass condoning him doing all of these things to my family and to my beezers. Kiss it. You're sick. I don't know how people are attracted to people like this. And no, of course I do care about my beezers, but there's literally nothing I can do if people are targeting my beezers. That's, that's their criminal activity. Um, that's all I can say is be careful when you're online with your identity. There's nothing that she can do. It just seems like she is not even sympathetic for her own Beezers. She doesn't give a F about them. She sees them as wallets and toys. <laughs> her little toys. Where is that? I feel like the wallet and a sex toy. <laughs> I feel like the wallet and a sex toy. Yeah. She sees them as dollar signs. Anything that she can milk. Make everything private if you can and don't use your real name. <laughs> and um, and she doesn't really even like appreciate them. You know, because like I would be nothing with without you guys. Or any activity to the police if you get targeted. 
giving up everything, like everything. Imagine eating healthy, no smoking, no weed. That's like my religion though too now. Like that like that really stops me from wanting to do anything bad because like I feel bad, you know? Like I feel like I've taken an oath and I understand the reasoning behind it, but it's just like so hard, you know? When has she ever felt any remorse for her bad actions? Like I'm a beezer at heart. I wonder if the shisha was like the reason mostly for my elevated blood pressure. That, my diet, but also like the heat. Does the heat raise your blood pressure? I've seen a clip of FFG calling your names because you talked about religion. She was vulgar. She's disgusting. She's she's subhuman. She's subhuman and she's going to get her. I'm being dehumanized. Just you, don't worry. She's such a, a coward. She can't even show herself. Yet she she's dehumanizing her. her. Judging everybody. Like she's disgusting. Literally. Like, even if we were, they're so ignorant. Like even if we were able to kiss publicly, I would never do. I feel bad because I took an oath. <laughs> and then she calls someone subhuman like a minute later. Anything these people tell me to do. They don't know me. <laughs> that sounds like really against, really against religion, like all religions to dehumanize someone. Um, I did a video, a scale tour. I did a video of my scale to show people that there's no option to mess with the scale. There's a unit of measure and that's it. So you'll be pleasantly surprised. They all just, yeah, they hate, that's all they do with their life. That's their career. Like, and they think they're gonna go somewhere and get like sponsorships, cameos. You'll never have a cameo because you're a piece of crap. <laughs> that's never bothered me. I'm not ashamed of my body. Like, you know, It actually feels like especially wrong because you know, FFG is Jewish and she called her a goblin. She called her subhuman. It just makes it feel worse if you know, like, the history of anti Semitism and stuff like that. Mr. Sexy, thank you for the super chat. You're so funny. Love listening to you while I take this dab. Girly, get it. Thank you, Mr. Sexy. That bothers me about my weight is if it limits me to do things health wise um what makes me mad about people talking about my weight is that they're all fat too that's what makes me mad about it i want to piss her off so let's because she had an opinion on the internet i don't like tiny violin okay and do they have ambulances in kuwait um yeah they do they have to right i have a big face what does what does that how does that impact my like how does that impact your life so if he does anything, just um, hit me up and I have his address, his full name. They dox like a beezer and put like their pictures of them and their kids. Like they're disgusting humans. You can never ever say anything that I'm a fucking bad person because I never did any of that shit. Oh, you dox- Seriously? We can't say that she's done nothing that would indicate she's a bad person. Is that just a joke or is she really that delusional? And Sass's daughter, she's like an adult. I mean, I wouldn't even say that. That I've done nothing that was bad. No. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> Didn't dox her. Number two, this old woman has been talking shit and body shaming me for years before I ever spoke up about it. So tiny violin on her as well. Yeah, I have a picture of him under Marie. He's huge. Don't care, girl. People are disgusting in his chat, like saying really Islamophobic things. Fat oh, really? It would drop her blood pressure, the heat? What it? I need to look it up. They fat shame me, but he's like way fatter than me. Like, let's look it up. Does heat raise blood pressure? Um. Yeah, it says vasodilation. The body's blood vessels may broaden or dilate in response to heat, which can drop blood pressure. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you were right, girly. Well, I mean, you knew you are right, but... Are you kidding? <laughs> okay, if nobody watches and goes on my live streams anymore because they're afraid of this, then I'll just do videos and open a Discord to talk to you guys. I mean, what? <laughs> like, you're not going to stop me living my life. Hon open a Discord? Now, how fast is that going to be infiltrated? It's like all of Gore World should just be erased from YouTube. They're literally pieces of crap. They contribute nothing but negativity and encourage this kind of behavior from people. Entertainment. Going after beezers, going after innocent people. It's just disgusting. Who's encouraging it? Most people are just like reporting on it. Anyway, after this stream, I don't care what, what. 
The only thing I would say is they don't feel any sympathy for you because you got yourself in this situation. It has nothing to do with us. And it's so hard to feel sympathetic for her. And that's her fault. <laughs> Weird people use Discord. Welcome, Mudflap. Hey, girly. Um, Discord. I just feel like Discord causes a lot of drama in this community. I've seen a lot of drama come from Discord and like some crazy comments made in the depths of a dark Discord. It's just giving like basement dwelling. Not saying that everyone on there is like a basement dweller. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of normal people use Discord, but there's a lot of weird people, like Mudflap says. Remember Eugenia Cooney, one of her mods was a P-word in the Discord. So, like, yeah, there's P-words on Discord. There's all sorts of stuff on there. These idiots do. I'm not acknowledging it. I'm just going to keep recording it and giving it to the cops. And Like, there's dark shit on Discord or so I've heard on Twitter like I don't really go on Discord let them deal with it I'm not going to stop doing content I'm not going to stop living my life I'm not going to stop live streaming so I've done the exact same thing that's a lie big lie I've never swatted people number one thanks for your money I've never swatted anybody never doxed an entire community of people or families for no reason called tow trucks to people's house never happened people who doxed me first yeah, I gave some of their information, not their personal, personal information, but I've had people who dogs me so many times on their channels. My yeah, Discord is good if you actually have good mods and it has to be focused communities. Yeah, I'm sure there, I'm sorry, I'm sure there are some good Discords for sure. I'm not saying all Discords are bad, but a lot of times they just end up with drama and like something bad happening, people getting hurt, people getting doxxed. That happens a lot. But there are some good positive discords and I'm not like shaming you if you use discord. I could, I understand why, why you would. Maybe I'll re-download it. I don't know. <laughs> Should we do a sugar discord? I had a discord for like two months. <laughs> I just didn't know how to use it. Address, trying to find where I am, my complete, complete information. So give me a break. This is not even I was close. being lazy to be honest. So suck it. Suck it. Give me more of your money and get out of here. My favorite is I've done there. Mm. Like, She's broke. But then they'll say that I'm paying to have a man. Two things can be true at once. <laughs> yeah, you're paying him, just not a lot. <laughs> How about that? Should we look at her social blade? I feel like it's a good point to look at her social blade to see if there's any changes. Is she losing subscribers, gaining subscribers? How do her views compare to last month? Up, down, left, right. Okay, so she's got like 500,000. 500,000 views. It's down 10%. So that was her monthly views. That's what she got in the last 30 days. Which that's a decent amount. It's not like a shit ton, but it's decent. She did, however, lose 200 in the past 30 days. It looks like she's she changed the trajectory. Like there for a little bit, she lost... Um. 900 subscribers but she changed the trajectory plus 100 plus 100 it's going in the opposite direction i feel like losing subscribers like it, it goes like a snowball you start losing and then it starts like snowballing but she's managed to turn that around at least for now who knows she could do something tomorrow and you know, people will unsubscribe. Well, anybody could. Anybody could do something tomorrow and start losing. <laughs> right? You know what I mean? Her score is B, right? 
How is it so good? What's mine? If mine's less than a B, I'm going to be very upset. I'm going to have to say Social Blade is a law. Social Blade, you are a law. You're a law. You are a law. Okay. Mine's a B. My social blade is also a B. Girl, you're y'all are a law. Y'all are a law. Hate views, right? She buys subs. Interesting point. Interesting point. Sorry, guys. I'm just having trouble seeing. My eyes are just like rejecting these contacts. <laughs> I've been wearing them all day, so that's the issue. Do I have any re weddings? Let me grab my re, -re wedding drops. Dear John, don't you know I was too young? The girl in the dress cried the whole way home. I should have known. I hear crickets. Oh, she attacked kids in the Uvalde thing. No, I didn't. I cried for the kids. I attacked to the gun laws and the shootings that happened in America. That's what I... That was the most insensitive, disgusting, horrible, but most of all, inappropriate thing that we have seen from Foodie, which was the Pumped Up Kicks rage. Talked. And they're acting like I made up that song, Pumped Up Kicks. I didn't invent that song. It was made in, for a reason. It was satire. There's a problem with shootings in the U.S. Why build... It was so... Chantal, the problem was that it was so tacky. It was so disgusting. Did we need to replay it? You were waving your hands in finger guns. You were doing finger guns and singing Pumped Up Kicks. And these children had just died like a week before. Are you insane? Why villainize me for that? I'm allowed to speak out on shit too. Anyway, that's what I have to say. And I'm going to get off of here and try not to give these idiots the attention. Where did I get the shirt? I think Marshall's. It's like guest brand, but I think it's Marshall's. <laughs> And like desperately want every day losers just get some get a life <laughs> like and i'll see you guys later bye good night right and she played it over and over and over and over again if she wanted to make a statement about that she had to be sober like you don't make a statement about that drunk out of your mind when it happened just a week before how do you not even realize your ridiculousness? It's crazy. You know what I mean? I mean, that's the issue. Is Ross still around in the States? Yes, they are. I have a Ross in my town. She's still a punk A. <laughs> Even when people mad, I'd please stop. This is hurtful. Hmm? As much as you, as Amber stinks, you don't dislike her as much as foodie. Yeah, I agree with that. Foodie's just like vile. Like Amber would never do that. Talking about kids. That situation. Like drunk out of her mind. She would never do that. 
That's just insane. Right? And she kissed Pete's when Pete's didn't want to be kissed. I mean, what do you call that? You know? <laughs> didn't Pete say, technically, you essayed me? I think Pete said that out of his own mouth. Which is yikes. Ross sucks. Um, I don't like it either. <laughs> Marshall's is so much better than Ross, in my opinion. What do you guys think? Marshall's or Ross? For me, like, Marshall's has a way better men's section. At least my Marshall's versus Ross. Because... Yeah, I mean, a lot of times it's hit or miss when it comes to men's. Even, like, my Nordstrom Rack. It has a really nice, like, ginormous women's section. <laughs> and then men's have this little teeny tiny little corner. It's like, give me something. I understand they're doing it because, obviously, they make a lot more money off of women. But I need a little more selection Nordstrom Rack is your favorite. Nordstrom Rack, it's still a little bit expensive sometimes, depending. The men's section at those stores suck. Yep, you know what I mean, girl. But my Marshalls, my TJ Maxx, the men's section is not that great, but it's okay. My Marshalls has the best men's section out of all of them. That I have. We have a Nordy, Marshalls, Ross, and TJ's. All right. Should we go ahead and watch her latest mukbang? How is it possible for someone to be like this to never think they're wrong and always feel like they have a reason all the time? Right. I mean, things would be better for her if she just admitted she was wrong. I mean, how can you even defend that pumped up kicks moment? Just say it was all wrong. Here she is like everybody rages. That's what she said. Everybody's had a drunk rage in their life. Why don't you just apologize? You know, why do you always have to try to be right? Sometimes the best thing to do is just apologize because what you did was so wrong. There's no defending it. But she can never be wrong. And that's the sign of, right, like a narcissist, right? She can never be wrong, and I hate that. I mean, there's no way that I would do that, but if I did, and people kept bringing it up, I would just have to say sorry and keep saying sorry because there's no way I could ever defend it. You want to see the pumped up kicks? I, I don't know if I really want to look at it. It's so awful, guys. Plus, I can't play pumped up kicks or my stream will be demonetized. But maybe we can look at some screenshots of it. Um, over pumped up kicks. Okay, I can't play this song. But this is from What in the YouTube is Going On? Yeah, most people don't want to see it. Okay, we'll just show screenshots. So this is what she looked like. Oh, wait, it's not showing. This is what she looks like. This is from What in the YouTube is Going On. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's just play it on mute. So this was like, she came on in a live stream. She started drinking like around seven or something. 
And she got really drunk. Obviously, she was calling Natter all night and fighting with Natter. Pete's was in the room. Then she kissed him, even though he was like, really didn't want to be kissed. And then she started another stream. She started talking about the Avaldi shooting. It was so inappropriate and disgusting. And she was super drunk. It's just not a situation that you address when you're wasted out of your mind, uh, especially right after it happened, people were still raw. And then she came on again. She like kept coming on playing pumped up kicks like every single time. And then she like ran to the bathroom. This was her face. Trigger warning, puke. Well, you don't actually see it. You can tell she's about to hurl. And then you could hear her. I'm not going to play it because it's too disgusting. But you could hear her in the background vomiting. It was probably her most insane live stream. Like, what do you guys think? Was Cuba worse or was Pumped Up Kicks worse? Let's do a poll. I mean, the sheer amount of hours that Cuba Rage was is kind of crazy. Mm. Let's do a poll. Worse rage or no, it wasn't really a rage. Worst moment. Cuba Rage, Pumped Up Kicks. I don't know if that was like a rage or what that was. Okay, pumped up. Kicks or Cuba Rage. Worst moment. Oh, the cheese graveyard, right? I honestly feel like the cheese graveyard video, looking back, was kind of like... People made too big of a deal out of it. Like, she was talking about the... Heaven's Gate, right? And that that was so satirized. SNL did a skit. It was like 30, 40 years ago, right? I don't know. I just feel like it was kind of blown out of proportion. I mean, what's her name? Stephanie Sue. Granted, Stephanie Sue is much more composed talking about like true crime and stuff while eating. I don't know. I don't think the cheese graveyard was really that big of a deal. But it wasn't that great of a video. Honestly, if she put together like a decent script, I don't think many people would have an issue at all. But the video wasn't even really that great. So it was like, this is stupid. All right, let me put these re-wedding drops in. Oh, that feels so much better. Oh, the 2019 retrospective. A lot of people are asking for a 2019 retrospective. I definitely have it on the list of ideas, especially in my mind. Oh, do you guys want to? Oh, wait, I don't have my pen with me. Why don't I have my pen? I need my pen. All right, what were we going to do? Her mukbang. We shall kiki, we shall kiki. I'm surprised she didn't put up another mukbang today. <laughs> it would have been nice to get some fresh content. Thank you, Morgan Ellsbury, for the super chat. I love watching you on Sundays. Alex, thank you, Morgan. And y'all have been, like, blowing the support out of the water with the live streams lately. Like, I don't usually have almost 2,000 in here. That's, like, new for me. I'm a little bit nervous. Chicken makes me nervous. 
<laughs> so thank you guys for supporting. We're moving on up. Thank you, Morgan, for the super chat as well. Moving on up. And thank you, TS Yom Tov, for the super sticker. You are number one. Thank you for the super sticker. Y'all have been, like, amazing lately. So it seems like most people believe that Pumped Up Kicks was the worst moment. With 63%, 64% saying it was worse. And 37 saying that Cuba Rage was worse. I think because it, it had to do with kids and just that situation in general is so touchy. Especially she was really calling out Americans. And it just happened that it just all these factors made it so horrible. So I would agree. Pumped up kicks is worse. Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> You see me? Hi. Welcome back to another video. Uh, I have some food here. So bismillah. Um, this is my first place. First time trying this place, but I have eaten similar meals before. Oh, they usually put the mayonnaise and ketchup in already. You guys. The mayonnaise is so white. <laughs> like, really, it looks like garlic sauce. Right, Ginger. They, they were both really, really bad. I just think the pumped up, like, they're like this. Like, <laughs> they're close. But that one was just a little bit more vile. My chair is like squeaking so much. It's kind of annoying me. Should I put WD-40 on it? Okay, and then tomato ketchup. This is festival brand. I don't eat uh, ketchup unless it's Heinz. <laughs> I've tried so many different kinds of ketchup. That's my one bougie thing. Give it to me. <laughs> I'm usually used to my Heinz world, but hey, I can adapt to any kind of ketchup in my life. Pepsi, it's really cold. I love that. Girl, things must be bad. Like, she can't even get Heinz. <laughs> Girl, we knew it was bad, but we didn't know it was that bad. What's with the Pepsi? Isn't this supposed to be a life-saving journey that needs to happen now? You would think that the first sacrifice that would go would be at least just get a diet Pepsi. I just don't get it. I know we talk about this all the time, but I just can't wrap my head around why she can't just get a diet Pepsi. Like, come on. Be serious right now. Yeah, yeah, I know Pepsi is full of sugar. You don't have to tell me. Just get a diet one. And some pickles. <laughs> you so can't even some... make that tiny little sacrifice. It's never going to work out if you can't make that minuscule sacrifice. Some radishes and carrots. Okay. Right, at least Amber drinks the Diet Coke. Yep. This is the sandwich. I got the Cristiano sandwich, which apparently has... And it's not like she just has, like, one soda every now and again. That's fine. No. She has soda every day. Full sugar soda. Beef, onions, cheese, steak sauce. What else? Oh, it's tender. Mushrooms, peppers, 
<laughs> Let's try it. Beauty bite. Oh, do you guys ever go to restaurants alone? I don't know. I was like tempted on my trip because I wanted to try like food, but I feel weird going to a restaurant alone. So I just didn't go. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Maybe it would make me feel even more lonely. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm, it's so good. So good. Tastes like a Philly. I love a good Philly. Do you go? Should oh. I try it? I know you're thinking, what about your diet? I go to the movie theaters alone. It's such a self-care moment. I love going to the movie theater alone. Yeah, it could just be my my lunch break. I'm just on my lunch break, you know? I'm just trying to find my way, man. Like, the type of weight loss plan I'm seeking is one that is also one that I can maintain. Because actually losing the weight is only part of the journey. Feeder content, right? I realized this recently. Maintaining is like a whole other story. Who requested this? I thought she wasn't going to eat junk food anymore. This is french fries and a shawarma cheesesteak. That's not a wrap. In the title, it says chicken shawarma wrap. That's a hoagie roll. Right? Mm. <laughs> Am I missing something? It's like climbing something? Mount Everest and then realizing you have to make your way down again. <laughs> Not Everest again. So. Go to Everest Base Camp. Yeah. In my opinion, who paid for this meal? You know, being more realistic in things. I'm starting to wonder, like, is this worth it for her? Like, she doesn't get that many views anymore. And the mukbangs, of course, she has to pay for the food. So that's an expense. Out of her, what she makes off the video, right? I'm trying to see how that goes. With her views, like let's say, let's say she spends like $25 on it. That could be up to like 40% of what she makes on it. Like she's not making that much, y'all. Think about all the money she could save not eating every day on the mukbangs. She has no other, but that's the problem. She has no other content. All she has is the mukbang. She doesn't know how to do anything else. This is easy for her, and that's all she can handle. She can't even do a commentary video. She can't even do a reaction to, a reaction video. You know, and they're easy. Well, you know, they can be easy, but just starting out, I feel like it can be kind of difficult. You have to get into the groove. You have to know your subject. Because people will catch on. Like, if you want to be, like, an ALR reaction channel or something, you have to know her. Because people will know if you're just, like, jumping on this for money, right? And you don't even know anything about Amber. People will clock that. Especially in this community. Yeah, they'll clock that. And they don't like it. So, Foodie, I don't know if she has, like, the wit or... You know, to do like the reaction videos, the timing, I had anything to you today, so. the humor. She doesn't even edit. It's easy to physically do. Yeah, it's easy to physically do. So, yeah, I mean, she could do a reaction video if she put her mind to it. I mean, you just sit there and watch the video, right? <laughs> I just don't know. She gets really bored easily. Um, yeah. This will be my meal, my big meal. She's not funny. Mm -hmm. 
She doesn't have the charisma, uniqueness, nerve, or talent. Yes, art. She always like taps out of the reactions because she gets like bored or she says she's bored, right? I really, I just think she's too lazy for it. Sitting down and eating in front of a camera, this takes less effort than a reaction video. Because you got to know what you got to be on top of it. You've got to say like to sit there and come up with something and talk. It's not as easy as it looks. I don't think she can really do it. You got to talk a lot. So I thought I would like talk about some more facts about Kuwait. She's barely got anything to say most of the time. Oh, yeah, let's definitely put this on 1.25. Did we already do Amber? Yeah. I know I talked about a few before, but I don't remember. <laughs> so thanks to my poor memory, you have to hear it again. She wants to talk about us doing like lazy content or whatever. But this has to be the lowest form of content there is. These mukbangs that she does. Some people put a lot of time and effort in their mukbangs. They'll show themselves cooking the food and, you know, they'll edit it nicely. Let's like do a punch in, punch out, like things like that, right? They put time and effort into their mukbangs, presentation, everything. Chantal doesn't do that. This is just, she puts the food down on the table, turns the camera on, adds an intro to the front of the video, adds an outro to the end, bada bing, bada boom, she throws it up on YouTube. It's the easiest thing there is. It's not a mukbang. All right, so. What, it's an eat dinner with me? <laughs> facts about Kuwait. There's a population of 4.5 million people. Girl, we don't care facts about Kuwait. We already know. We've already done our research. Because unlike you, we do research. Here. That's a lot of people. It's only like half of New York City, though. Though... Expats, expatriates, make up for 70% of that population. Nuh-uh. 70%? Really? Nuh-uh. So, so Kuwaitis are actually a minority in their own country. But they're also typically the only ones who get citizenship. The rest Wait, I have to look that up because I don't know if that's true. Kuwait City. All right, let's start off with population. 3.2. Wait, is she talking about Kuwait as a whole or just Kuwait City? Let's rewind it. Sorry, guys. So, so Kuwaitis are actually a minority in their own country. So, percent. Though, oh, Kuwait, there's a population of 4.5 million people here. Okay, just in the whole country. So Kuwait City has 3.2 million. So most people just live in Kuwait City. I have looked at the map of Kuwait and yeah, like Kuwait City is like the only big city. Population of Kuwait. 4.25 million, yeah. So everybody just lives in Kuwait City. Population of expats. Mm. So yeah, 69%. 69% are expats? That's kind of crazy. I couldn't even believe it. 
Kuwait nationals account for 31% of Kuwait's total population, it says. Really? What? Though expats, expatriates, make up for 70% of that population. Yeah, there's nobody around when they go out. Where are all the people? <laughs> They're probably, like, staying inside away from the heat. Let's be real here. So, so Kuwaitis are actually a minority in their own country. But they're also typically the only ones who get citizenship. The rest of the population is made up of a majority of Indian. Um, Egyptian is the second most. And then there's like a mix of Syrian, um, Pakistani, Filipino, Turk, Palestinian. Okay. So, Kuwait is the sixth largest oil reserve in the world. It contributes to 8% of the world's oil. 8%. <laughs> Based on what I've seen, I've come to the conclusion that Kuwait is very prejudiced against certain minority groups. Based on my research. I don't like it. Ew, there was like a weird thing in my beef, so I can't eat it. And I'm talking about like the government and like the rules and stuff, not the people. Just to make that clear. Luckily for me, I have a backup sandwich. You always have to have a backup sandwich. Yep, she's reading like notes. And this is chicken shawarma on sage. Carrots. So yes, I think most people know Kuwait is an oil-rich country. Um, the Kuwaiti dinar, our currency here, is the highest valued currency. Before 1960, they were using the Gulf rupee. Gulf ruby? Girl, that means nothing to us. I'm scared of the sandwich now because of the beef one. Oh, wait, what? Here's the wrap. Are you kidding me, sweetheart? A second sandwich? How did I? I was, like, too distracted. She pulled out a second sandwich on me. Beef, so I can't eat it. Ew, there was like a weird thing in my beef, so I can't eat it. Luckily for me. She literally ate like three fourths of it. A backup sandwich. You always have to have a backup sandwich. Uh. And this is chicken shawarma on sage. Okay, so that's why I was confused about the wrap. It didn't look like chicken either, so I was like, what the heck is that? No way. What is she doing? Beef one. That's about it. Isn't she on like a dire WL journey? Make okay, it or break Kuwait. it journey. I didn't know this either. The word Kuwait means Fort in Arabic. Great. Um, had to do when the settlements, the word comes from when the settlements were fortified here in the 18th century. Because in the 18th century, there wasn't like any settlement here, really. So it's <laughs> new? That's weird because like a lot of places in the Middle East are like the oldest in the world, you know? 
Here's one you probably don't. Some of you don't. Kuwait is the most. I need more ice. Do I have that one? That sound bite. Obese country in the Middle East. And one of the, the has the highest, uh, one of the countries with the highest obesity rates in the world. 40% of the population is obese. 77% is overweight. One of the highest. I don't think they have one of the highest. I mean, it's high, but it's not one of the highest. I'm not sure. Is this it? I want more coke. I smell like coconut oil. Oh, wait, no, that's not it. <laughs> it just says cocoa, so I thought it was like... Oh, here it is. Were people doing coke in your Oh, wait, browser? no, that's not it either. I want more coke. I mean, more ice. I got a Diet Coke. <laughs> I got a Diet Coke. Mm, more Coke. I love more Coke. I love more Coke. I love more Coke. <laughs> I think when it comes to obesity in Kuwait, yeah, there's a lot of people that are obese, but... Um, there's not a lot of people that are super duper morbidly obese. Super duper, super morbidly obese. <laughs> you know? Because if you look at the BMI, like technically obese, I, I, we're kind of skewed, our opinion being Americans and watching these girls. But technically obese is not really that big. For example, at 5'6", which is my height, you're obese at 184. That's not even 200 pounds. I'm less than that, by the way. <laughs> not much, but... <laughs> like five. <laughs> There's a lot, a lot of fast food here. I'm a cheeseburger away from obese. So I fit right in. <laughs> no, you don't. You stick out for the reasons we just said. There's a tower that's expected to be erected by 2030. Oh, that says a male. Yeah. That says a male. So for a woman, I'm not sure. Year 2030 called the Burj Mubarak al-Kabir Tower. Um, I think the word Burj just means tower. Potluck. Which, if nothing else is erected before that, this will be the tallest building in the world. Right now, I think it's the Burj Khalifa in UAE. Yes. I really want to see the Burj Khalifa... That's Dubai, right? So, I'll, I'll talk a bit about the healthcare because it was confusing. The way I explained it, maybe, and to a lot of people. Um, you don't like tall buildings? I liked the Sears Tower, Willis Tower. I have used the healthcare here. I used a government facility and a private clinic. She used a government facility. She had to pay though, right? She needs her Canadian health care. Like, girl, what are you going to do when things get bad? You're going to need your Canadian health care. Actually, Kuwait has one of the best... Won't she, like, lose it? ...private health care systems in the world. What are you going to do when you're broke? But right, Sears like, Tower. Um, free healthcare for all—it's state-funded, basically. So for Kuwaiti citizens, you have access to free healthcare, government-funded. But you don't. To access the free public government-funded healthcare here, as an expat, you need a civil ID.
No loopholes, sweetheart. And you have to pay like 60k a year. Which is like less than about $200. Canadian though? 60 KD in US dollars. Sorry, something's gone. All right, Siri can't do KD. I should have known that already. Which KD? Call for McDurda? Stop. No problem. I won't. Do you guys hear that? Okay, so 60 KD. Oh, it is $200. <laughs> it's 200 American ish, 195. I always think she's talking about Canadian. So I get confusion. Anytime I've gone to get welfare, she's on welfare. I, don't I don't have to wait so. at all. Like <laughs> Right in. Nobody waiting. Really? But did you have to wait in the waiting room for like 10 minutes? Or like 5 to 10 minutes? Right, she hates Canada now. How can she hate Canada? So. She realizes that, that she lived such a Privileged existence compared to a lot of other countries, right? A topic. <laughs> Go back to your homeland. Oh, wait, I didn't mean it like that. I mean, I just want to see her. Go back to your country. No, I'm kidding. There's Not a lot like of that. these restaurants that have like uh, similar types of sandwiches on sausage bread. The Western the world. Massage. Um, shawarma is very popular, of course. Uh, falafel. Um, there's different types of sandwich, like chicken. Did she post a new video? Do you guys want to? Should we dip out? Let's just dip out. I'm over it. Check this out. I mean, do or do you guys want to hear the fun facts? <laughs> Cried the whole way home. I should have known. Okay. Dip, dip, dip. Okay, so this is her ba 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 brand new video. Foodie Beauty. We're one of the first people to see this, which is crazy. Eating at one of Kuwait's restaurant districts. Featuring Salah. Did he lose weight? <clears throat> Maybe he's exercising with her. What do you guys think? It looks like he put on a little bit of weight. Being with Foodie, because everybody does, that's with her. Check this out. Three, two, one. Girl cliffhanger. Hello, Foodie Beauties. <laughs> Hi, guys. Assalamu alaikum. Well oh, my goodness. This is going to be a good screenshot video, folks. Welcome back to another video. So today we're doing something a bit different. Uh, Salah has taken me to this, it's like a whole district of restaurants. There's cafes, there's restaurants. There's also like phone shops and barber shops, but the majority of this whole entire district is just restaurants and cafes. So for dinner tonight, we're going to uh, pick somewhere to eat. And I just wanted to show you a bit around the different places and things like that. It's very lit up, lots of lights, very exciting. And it smells amazing coming off the highway. All you can smell is food and you know, that will get you going and excited. Is this really what she should be doing? All you can think of is food. I mean, just imagine what's going through the minds of the pass, passerbys, right? Mm -mm -mm. Passenger princess. Is Salah going to pass her his knock? 
excited to come in here and check out everything. So, Yala, let's go. You know, go. you know. I like all the lights. Are those buildings? What is that? Yeah, it's building. I was just confused about the scale. What? It looks like Vegas. <laughs> Not really, but... Do you guys ever see the pictures of, like, Chinese cities and they look so futuristic and stuff? It looks really cool. Like, I want to go and see it. It's because a lot of those cities are, like, 20 to 30 years old. And America doesn't really have any new cities. Like, all of our cities have been there for a long time, you know, for the most part. Right? It's an anime theme song. I feel that. Oh, look, a vape shop. Would we even know, even Pick me up some gummies, girl. Have any of you guys tried the legal mushroom gummies? <laughs> LOL. Okay, we, we don't need to see this much. I kind of want to just mute it. Okay, just turn it down. Our rainbow. This looks kind of cool. But this music is just not the tea for me. It's not giving. Oh, the mushroom chocolate. I've seen that too. I don't think it's copyright. If it is, we'll just have to cut it out. Chantal would never do anything for free. So it's definitely not copyrighted. This woman, why is this going on forever? Like, can we just get to the video? It's too much. And it's not edited well. It's almost giving me a headache. Like, it's sickening. <laughs> okay, maybe that's a little over dramatic, but. It's so windy. It's a whole bunch of sand just went in my eyes. <sighs> we almost fly, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Beezers. Did you know? Okay, let me. This is really fast for some reason. You can now request a personalized video from me on Cameo that you can keep forever and ever. Cameos make great birthday and special occasion gifts. Girl, nobody wants another Cameo. Check the link in the description and get your Cameo today. Cam or, I mean, one Cameo. Good to hear from you. Hello, guys. Let me see Harry. <laughs> I'm going to request proof of life. Hi. Shikhan. <laughs> like, did anyone request proof? <laughs> what if you went on Cameo and said prove that you're in Kuwait or something? We know she's in Kuwait. Remember last week, that was the whole thing. I stuck to the fact that I knew she was in Kuwait still. You know, and I stuck to that. I'm proud of myself. <laughs> And here she is. She's still in Kuwait. And you know what the number one reason is? I said this on Twitter. Chantal would never pre-record like five videos. She doesn't have that kind of work ethic. Wow. I do think she could have hopped the border, though, as people like to say. Hi, here. Whatever you like, babe. How about here? How oh, cool. <laughs> I 
is coming here late has it's oh my goodness girly like we're just walking into a restaurant and you sound like you just ran five miles advantages too hot during the day so there's right she can't afford two seats Something tells me they don't have the Southwest customer of size policy for Qatar Airways. Something just tells me that. Curtain here actually to make it as private room. Right, all she did was walk from the car to the restaurant. And you know they parked. She made him park as close as possible. Yay. Yes, perfect. I like to park kind of far. Like, I'll park as, let's say I'm at Target. <laughs> My Target obsession is unhealthy, guys. Like, I need help. I'm not even lying. I'll park as far away as the closest pull-through spot is because I, I need a pull-through spot. So if I have to park at the back of the parking lot, I will as long as I can get a pull-through. <laughs> so we ended up choosing a Syrian restaurant that specializes in mixed grills. Immediately when you walk in, it's nice and air-conditioned. You can smell a lot of like barbecue charcoal smell. That's so true. She had to pick a spot with curtains mm -hmm, so that they could eat in private because I'm not sure how they are about judgment i have heard about places in age in asia like it's normal in their culture to say like you've gained weight like you're fat <laughs> literally just like say that straight up and supposedly i mean sometimes i'm sure it can be to be mean but oftentimes it's because they're worried about your health you know they're just very very blunt about it and that's part of the culture <clears throat> so I'm not sure how it is in Kuwait though pull through so the pull through is there has to be these are two parking spots you pull through so that you can just get out you know <laughs> and so you don't have to back out because I don't like backing out <laughs> it's just annoying so yummy. I can't wait to eat. So we have some garlic, some thum for each of us, and some hummus. Plus, it's good to park far away because all, every little step adds up, you know? And a bunch of pickles. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look at these pickles, guys. What if someone parks in front? No, you pull through so no one can park in front. Bismillah. Don't worry, honey bunny. The food's gonna be super tasty. I bet. <laughs> Yellow. Check this out. Three, two, one. <laughs> Ooh. <Ta -da>. Whoa. <laughs> Is that like pita bread? Mm. You know what? That don't look too bad. <laughs> Syrian Mashawi. Yum. You wore the wrong shoes. The judge Ah, charcoal chicken. Oh. And this this fresh bread, I can't get over that. It's just like it's so warm. Oh my gosh. Fresh out of the oven for the hummus. Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, they make it just now. <laughs> <laughs> Pull that curtain closed, Salah. Mommy's got to eat in peace without judgment. All right, guys, so I'm just going to eat a little bit with you guys to try this stuff. That's kind of interesting the way that she's wearing that hijab. It kind of looks like she's wearing a tube top. You see what I mean? Can you imagine if she wore a tube top? I remember my friend's mom. We called her my cousin, but she wasn't my cousin growing up. So her mom, who was not my aunt, she was like 60 and she wore a tube top. 
it was kind of strange, to be honest. Oh, right, it's her bib. Yeah, so much. So I'm going to try this hummus. It has sumac and olive oil. She's on her best behavior again. You know what gets me about these videos is, like, it's not her. She'll come on and rage. Her mask will slip. She'll show us who she really is. And then she'll come on acting so fake and, like, nothing happened. Girl, we see right through it. Like, this is wild. The many personalities that this woman has. Out of this world. This is just her fake YouTube personality. I'm a food blogger. This is her fake, nicey, nice food blogger personality. You have to try that. You have to try that. It's giving insane. <laughs> How do you say pickle again in Arabic? There's two names. Um, Khalil and Turshi. The lobby of my voice is off the chain tonight. What is she hiding? I just have to wonder when she uses that voice, it's like she's hiding something. What's going on behind the scenes? Mahalal and Torshi. Mahalal. Mahalal. Yes. Mahalal. 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 Like, this isn't really content, you know? She spent, like, she's stretching out this video as long as she can. We know exactly why she's doing that, because she can put mid-roll mid -roll ads in. Your video has to be eight minutes. Um, if it's not eight minutes, you can only have an ad at the beginning and the end. If it's over eight minutes, you can put one in the middle, or you can put, like, multiple ones in there, right? It was like two minutes of just driving down the street. Three minutes of just driving down the street. And now it's just like a fly on the wall at her dinner. That's not content. Just placing a camera there and turning it on. You're supposed to entertain the audience. You're supposed to look at the audience. Like, this doesn't qualify as a YouTube video. I'm going to try. Or, I mean, Sunbrain. or content. It's a YouTube video. It's not content. It's fly on the wall. I don't know. It might work as, like, a live stream, but not a video. First, I'm going to put some garlic. Two. Do I think YouTube will get more strict? In what way? I don't think so. I think they'll get more lax. I feel like that's the way it's going. Just letting people... Without going too far into, like, hate speech, right? But let people voice their opinions. And I feel like YouTube's pretty good with that. You know? Some apps, like, they'll delete everything. Or they'll take down whatever. Like, TikTok will take down a video just because people reported it. They won't even look at it. TikTok, I heard, is, like, the worst when it comes to censorship and stuff. But YouTube's pretty good. It's not perfect. AA, thank you for the super chat. Do we think Salah ever asks why her voice changes? <laughs> Girly. <laughs> um, he's probably used to it. He knows what she's doing. He knows that she's a big phony. And he doesn't care because cha-ching. Mm, yeah. 
Oh, do they? TikTok takes your videos down? What do you do, Mudflap? And yet Eugenia flourishes on TikTok. Right, TikTok... <clears throat> Excuse me, I like swallowed... I like choked on my own spit. TikTok... <laughs> Um, is weird with the things that they allow and don't allow. Like, I don't get it. They're very, they play favorites. They take stuff down for no reason. You're not even really allowed to criticize people to a certain extent. Like, they're very, very, str I don't want to say strict because... They're weird. Like they pick and choose. Yes, Brie. Yeah. Oh, really? You have a Tofia Chu account where you post like clips? Nice. Like, I don't know. Like, who is behind TikTok? Like, who's behind the moderation <laughs> and what? What's their reasoning? Yeah, there's weird spam. There's like inappropriate stuff that shouldn't be on there that they just let up. And then you'll get taken off just for like voicing an opinion. But they'll have... I heard that there was someone like making cola. <laughs> they had a video of them making cola. And you, it was just up on YouTube. I saw that on Twitter. <laughs> I mean, not YouTube, TikTok, sorry. YouTube would probably take that down. I don't I don't think that should probably be on there. <laughs> Obviously making not Coca-Cola, but you know. I know. <laughs> it's very famous here in restaurant. I can see why. <laughs> now we have some rice. Just meat inside of like bread. It's um sheep, right? Yeah. Do you guys believe there's like a theory about TikTok? Because if you've ever heard of Douyin, that's the Chinese version of TikTok. It's the same app. It just has a different name, and. When you go on Douyin, it's like educational. It shows like kids learning in a school, kids doing like appropriate dances, um, Chinese nationalism, like loving their country. And then when you go on American TikTok, it's like a bunch of degenerate. <laughs> so people have this theory that China is like, trying to make our kids like addicted to this BS. Do you guys believe that theory? And then there's also the, um, there's also the privacy concerns you know, with the CCP, like, mining our information, and... Grilled pepper. We also have some kebab. The kids are equally addicted. You mean in China, they're also addicted to TikTok or Douyin? I heard that in China, like, they are they have rules or they're making rules. I'm not sure if it's in. I watched this, like, China news YouTuber who, like, used to live in China, right? And he talks about, like, what's going on with the CCP and, like, the things that they do wrong. Well, what was I saying? Crap, I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> uh, moving on. Oh, yeah, they're going to limit. Yes, yes, that's what I was talking about. Thank you, Radioactive Llama. 
they're going to put in rules limiting the amount of time that a child can spend on the internet or on their phone, right? And that's like... I feel like they shouldn't be, like, parenting the children. Like, I don't know. I'm very American, I guess, in that way. You know, it's up to the parent to decide. Of course, I don't think a child should be on the internet all day. It's probably not... It's really not good for them. But at the end of the day, that's the parent's job. So, uh, tender. Yeah. Melted. Yeah. <laughs> Melted, yeah. This too is sheep meat. Because the whole food actually cooked very well. Mm. This is for salads? Yeah. Yeah. They, like, uh, they put some special spices on the food to make mm. it uh, tasty, right? Yeah, it's like really the best barbecue I've had. Mm. Right, that's true in China. Like, you can't criticize the CP CCP in China if you're a Chinese citizen. And they have the social credit score, which is, like, really weird. So, basically, I heard if you, if you like, say something against the CCP, your social credit score will go down. And then they have this new thing where if someone calls your cell phone and they have a low social credit score, it'll say, like, warning, low social credit score. Like, it'll, like, encourage you not to pick up, like, not to speak to these people. It's crazy just because they're, like, they have an opinion. Um, not just that. Obviously, other things can lower it, too. Like, if you commit a crime, that's going to lower it a lot. Things like that. But even things like just criticizing the government. But yeah, that's wild. The social credit score. It's just like Black Mirror. Mm -hmm. um, nosedive. Was that what it's called? Nosedive. It's just like Black Mirror. And they have like cameras everywhere and so much identification software. I mean, in America, there's cameras everywhere, too. And they're monitoring us a lot, too, but not like that. A small sandwich? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. With some hummus, maybe? Mm, some hummus, yeah. Well. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, maybe. Grilled tomato, meat kebab, hummus. This is going to be messy. Dynamite sandwich. Mm. Girl, what is this? This is non-tent if I've ever seen it, right? Don't worry about it. Hmm? Their population is going to nosedive? Why do you say that? I did hear that in China, there's also a problem with... There's a lot of old people, right? Because they had the one-child policy. Now that's over. You can have more than one child now. But there's this whole generation of only children. And because of that, there's a lot of old people and there's not that many young people to take care of these people. And so it's like overwhelming. And it's causing a lot of issues. So that kind of bit them, bit the government in the back. This is boring. We got like one minute left. <laughs> Let's finish her up. I knew that. I gotta finish it. Boring. <laughs> There's also too many men. That's true too, because because of the one child policy. There was an incentive to have boys. And a lot of the girls, like there was a lot <clears throat> overpopulation in the orphanages of these little girls. 
right? And my cousins, my cousins are actually adopted. Um, they're girls adopted from China. <laughs> so Kuwait is in its humid season right now. It's like the end of summer, so it's humid. Humid season, right. Very humid, but... You know, I'm not feeling too bad right now. I'm like, we're at night, so... Girl, you could barely make it from the car into the freaking restaurant. And there's AC everywhere, so mm. it's fine. Cool. Her, her abaya is filthy. Right? Look at that stain right there. What's that? Salah not have very good aim. I shouldn't have said that. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of our food and off camera. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you guys a bit of cool off okay At least she's honest. She's gonna finish the food off camera. Yeah, we know you're gonna finish it. At least she's honest. This time. I'm here. I'm excited <laughs> to go out for dinner today. So thanks for coming with us, and we'll see you in the next video. Non tent. Non tent. Right, we're gonna enjoy the food now. So see you later. I mean, it was a decent screenshot video. And that's pretty much it, guys. Look at crazy eyes. Riveting. Doesn't, um, Karina says that. Riveting. Riveting. <laughs> Get back to your intellectual conversation. Right? I'm looking for an intellectual conversation. I actually put that on my grinder profile. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. I said I'm looking for an intellectual conversation. <laughs> because I know it's grinder, but I'm still not looking for a one and done thing. I'm just, I'm 30 years old. I'm not looking for that. I'm not going to be one of these guys that's 35 on these apps, single, just new guy every other night. No, 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 no. I'm not going to be that person. He loves himself so much. He wants to be a YouTube star. True. True, 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 true. I kind of just use Grindr as an ego boost, honestly. Just to get messages from people that I don't even respond to. You know what I mean? Oh, this person wanted me. Okay. I'm not that hideously ugly. You guys want to watch a retro Amber? Seems like most people wanted to watch that. It's toxic. Yeah, I know it is. Like I said, I just use that as an ego boost. I don't even meet up with anybody. What's my type? That's my type. That's my type. A rich dude. Eight figures. That's my type. Okay, no. <laughs> you don't have to make that much, but he's gotta make at least a hundred thousand a year. At least six inches. No. <laughs> I don't really care about height. I mean, preferably the same height as me or a little bit taller. Um I don't know. I don't mind. Like I said, I like the, uh, a little bit of meat on the bones, but like muscle underneath. You know what I mean? But I also like skinny too. I don't really care. Race. I don't really care about either. I think every race can be hot. And I like like nerdy as well. I don't really like jock. I don't really like 
outdoorsman. How tall am I? Five, six. It's not what it used to be. Yeah, I know it's not what it used to be, but you can live comfortably, you know, off of two incomes. Anyways, Amber, why is my mouse acting up again? Give me a break. No, 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 no. Six figures, six inches. <laughs> LOL. Honestly, like, I don't want a monster thing. Like, no. Monster sized, you know what I mean? I don't really need that. The deep voice. Hey guys. Hi guys, Kyle here. Welcome back to Girl Talk. I've got. <laughs> or. Hi guys, Alex here. <laughs> Hi. How are you doing? You think six is huge? Six is not huge. <laughs> it's a little bit above average. Okay. I feel like eight is huge, right? <clears throat> Seven is like really big. Eight is like huge. Nine is like monster. And then anything above that is like not for me. Okay. Which Amber video do you want to watch? Oh, you want to talk about Brittany? I know she's getting a divorce. So Britney Spears is getting a divorce and she's also like giving her ring back or she wants to give the ring back. Six is perfect. Yeah, I feel like that's good. I'm good. This day in 2019. Okay, that's a good idea. Let's do that. Didn't she get married like this year? I th I don't know if it was 2023. I think it was 2022 or something. I don't know. All right, let's scroll, 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 scroll. <laughs> Oh no, we're probably going to get demonetized. Yeah, well. Sometimes you got to push the boundaries a little bit. I mean, everything else is not that interesting. Or else it's not that much interesting. I'm starting to get, what does Amber say? Slap happy. Let's just watch this one. Oh yeah, it's after 12 already. Yeah. Let's just watch this one last video. Eating candy on camera. This is one of my favorite titles from Amber. Eating candy on camera. <laughs> Who else would get almost 200,000 views on a video titled Eating Candy on Camera? Like the Amber effect.
Okay, this is it. This just keeps getting deeper. Hey, guys. Hey. So this was August 20th. Wait, that's today. Or no, it's the 21st. Well, when we started the live stream, it was the 20th. So it counts for sure. Eugenia Cooney. I can't take Eugenia Cooney's too triggering for me. Uh, trigger warning. Uh, trigger warning. At least like live reactions. Like I can talk about her in a carefully curated video, but I don't know. It's just too much or too little, I guess. I don't know. Dax Marshall, welcome to Shookers. Welcome. Yes. Is this a new video? No. <laughs> if you want to watch the new video, you have to rewind to the beginning. All right. So this is just four years ago. Oh, new series. This day in 2019. <laughs> so good, right? This day in 2019. This just keeps getting deeper. What does that mean? Deeper, girl? You know where my mind's going. I can't help it. It's a man thing. You know, gay men are still men in that regard. Especially in that regard. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm surprised, but a lot of people are actually enjoying Becky. these videos. Is where Becky and I get a little deep. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if this is really a good one, guys. So I'm surprised, but a lot of people have actually enjoyed these videos, which is crazy to me because I thought people wouldn't enjoy these. Videos. I actually remember this. Can you believe it? I actually remember this. But these are the ones that we have already answered in our past videos, and these are the ones. We haven't answered. So if you're new to this type of video, we go back and forth. Becky chooses one. Ask me the question. I have to answer it. She doesn't get to answer it. And then vice versa. So are you ready? Yes. Okay. Who among your friends do you think is most deserving of fame and fortune? What? Okay. Um, fame and fortune. See, it's like I want some people to have like fortune. But then. We're not going to watch this one. I just want to hear the answer to this. I know that those people don't want fame. So it's like, I don't know who to choose. I actually thought of someone. So I consider her a friend, obviously. I don't see her often because she lives somewhere who else. Who was it? But I'm going to go with Becky's cousin because, oh, oh wait, we're not going to give the tea. But let's just say she's beautiful. She can sing. She can act. Like, she's done a lot of things like that already. So. Is it Rebecca Gayhart? Oh, definitely her. Wait, what is Rebecca Gayhart to Becky? Is that really her cousin? Does anyone remember that? She's related to Becky Gerhart. Gayhart. Who even is that? <laughs> what was she in? I don't even really know who this is. I just heard the name once. Oh, she is from Kentucky. Oh, Jawbreaker. Right, Jawbreaker. I love Jawbreaker. And she was in Scream 2. Oh, I've seen that a hundred times. That's the only one that I know. She's a 90s actress. Yes. What is she to Becky? Does anyone know what she is to Becky? She hit someone and unalived them? Really? Was she under the influence? Or was it just an accident? Um... 
Let's look up the accident. Oh no. That's awful. It was 20 years ago. Oh, she was on 90210. She really like went through it after doing it. It was an accident, guys. She was not under the influence. Oh, so what she did, if a car in front of you hits their brakes and they stop, you don't go around them to avoid hitting them. You hit them because there's a reason they're stopping. I couldn't see that reason, but that is something that everyone should know. So she hit somebody. Oh, she hit a, she hit a kid on the street, a nine-year-old child that was running after a soccer ball. So they stopped and she went like this really quickly. I've actually done that before. Just, you know, you don't know what you're doing and you just, someone stops really quickly and you go, Whoop. nothing happened, obviously, in my regards, but that's so sad. Anyway, she's related to Becky. Let's pick a different video. Trying Korean rice cakes. Saying goodbye after 11 years. Let's try that one. It's still August. Yeah, you don't know what's in the other lane. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this video is really boring. It's just a Q&A. This one. Hey guys, so welcome to a new vlog. Today I decided not to wear any makeup because like I'm trying to make my face not break out and i really just wanted to be all natural i'm kind of over makeup um i'm just thinking about actually getting rid of most of my makeup so if you guys want girl so this was the mermaid look if you guys remember what happened here was she was doing a video in 2019 of a mermaid makeup look and this is what it looked like. Uh, needless to say, it wasn't that great. Leave a comment down below and I can just give you my makeup. Because <laughs> I think I'm just over makeup. I just wanted like a, <laughs> I just want like a natural clean. She's over makeup, she says, with all this makeup on. This ridiculous looking makeup on. Sleet and makeup is part of that. Um, I'm also wearing my hair down. I'm over makeup and done with makeup. Really, it was just she was too lazy. Not that anyone needs makeup, but that's the reason. Because I just feel like putting hair ties in your hair is just giving you more split ends. And <laughs> I'm also thinking about getting rid of all my clothes. And yet she wears hair. Is she just joke? It just trolling. She wears makeup. She uses hair ties. She does get rid of her clothes, but not all of them. I'm also kind of naked right now. Oh, this is just a troll. It's okay. So, um... I'm she knows exactly what she's doing. I'm really just trying to change my life and be <laughs> minimalistic. <laughs> she's lying and trolling, but her lying and trolling is a troll. It's like trollception. You guys, you can cringe. You can cringe. It's fine. I cringe sometimes. But anyways, I did this for a video 
I feel like you guys have already seen it. If not, whoops, spoiler alert. But today has been kind of like a literal chill day. I it's kind of giving like Amy Slayton when she would do her makeup tutorials back in the day. I have not been doing much. I've just been like filming and editing and scheduling videos and things like that. Becky's family got some really bad news today. So she went to um, be a part of her family. What? Let me know. I do have to wonder, was the news that um, her mom got cancer, number one, but number two... Was Amber begging her not to go to stay and take care of her? Since she went to go spend time with her family because it's kind of like pivotal in this moment. I already had today planned where I had to film some videos or else I would have went with her. But I feel like sometimes like... Wait, so why wouldn't she go support Becky? I feel like, okay, maybe the point, maybe what actually happened is like, Becky's family didn't want her there. That's also a possibility. But for it to be Becky's mom just got cancer and she's not there supporting Becky, standing by her side, um, just being there for Becky's mom too, because they knew each other. They had a relationship. It wasn't a good one. But when someone gets cancer, like, you be with them. You support them. And she had to stay home and film videos? Come on, girl. Come. There's certain situations in like a family where it's like you shouldn't bring the girlfriend. I don't know. I like they didn't want you there. That's what it was. Or you just didn't want to go. Slash she was bound to the bed. There's a couple of reasons like I'm part of the family obviously, but you guys get what I'm saying. Hey guys, so it is the next day. I look super tired. Are they anti-gay? I think that Becky's mom, to be perfectly honest, had an issue with Becky and what Becky, Becky's sexuality. And what Becky admitted is that there was an ultimatum. And the ultimatum was that Becky could live there, but she wasn't allowed to be in a relationship with a woman, Right. And so Becky left. And that's what happened. So yeah, they did have an issue with it. Because I... But it seemed like as time went on, I don't think... I'm not sure if they accepted it or not and changed their opinion. But they did continue to have a relationship with Becky, right? Um... I didn't get much sleep last night. I've been having issues falling asleep. And it's weird because I'm not really a nap person, but I took a nap yesterday. I've actually taken about three naps in the last two weeks, which is really weird for me because I don't do that. And every single time I take a nap, I have a nightmare. And I always take my nap after I take my mm. mood stabilizer. So really weird. But anyways, yeah, yeah, it's really anti-gay. Yeah, of course. I am going with Becky because she's taking Eric to three appointments in a row. So I figured, you know what? I'm going to tag along. So let's do a little outfit of the day because this is so freaking... Oh, look at the candle wall. What happened to it? There's not that many. Thank you. It has Minnie Mouse all over it. And I'm wearing a cardigan... I wouldn't. Honestly, I've been showing my arms a lot lately. I really don't care. But this dress shows my bra strap. So I was like, okay. Oh, is that what it was? Amber didn't want to feel uncomfortable for even a minute. That's why she didn't go. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's not do that. Dress is from Torrid. Cardigan is from Torrid. Earrings are from Torrid. I am a Torrid gal. Oh, maybe that's true. If Becky moved out of like Kentucky or her area of Kentucky. Do you think she would thrive? See, the problem is everywhere else is even more expensive. It's hard to get out of your town. But that's what it looks like. I really, really love it. I'm just gonna wear a black mini backpack as my purse of choice. So for a perfume situation, we're gonna wear <laughs> Ariana. This outfit is, like, giving. <laughs> LOL. I'm grande. 
Ariana mm, perfume. So I was thinking about like the song Break Up With Your Girlfriend, I'm Bored. Like she literally did that, but it was Break Up With Your Wife, I'm Bored. And she did the same thing allegedly in the past with Big Sean and Naya Rivera, rest in peace. And then she wrote a song about it. <laughs> Break up with your girlfriend. I'm bored. Like, yikes, girly. Here are my earrings up closer. Aren't they cute? So I'm just getting a little bit of sun action. Little sunshine. Before I leave, I'm waiting for everyone. I feel like this is iconic. She used to sit on the stoop in the Kentucky gay care. Iconic spot. I would do anything to be able to sit right there. <laughs> what if we did an Amber trip visiting the gay care? I don't want to like, a, I don't want to like, what's the word? Creep out the family that lives there now, you know? So I would never do that, but part of me wants to see it. <laughs> Go to Amber's Walmart. Go to what are the other iconic that that Mexican restaurant that they would go to? Walk to the tree. It's kind of like um, with Chris Chan. People used to go to the different monuments and stuff that Chris Chan would go to in Charlottesville and the surrounding area, Charlottesville, Virginia. Fashion Square Mall. I almost went to Fashion Square Mall because I went to Charlottesville to see Monticello and stuff. It's a cute town. You can go and do the Christian tour and also check out the different um, attractions. It's a cute town. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just sitting here. Right, Casa Grande and the Chinese Buffet. Mm hmm Casa Grande is such an interesting name. It's kind of like the Indian restaurant in my town. It's called the Taj Mahal. Casa Grande. It's a little earlier than I usually sit here, so the sun is, like, directly on the side of my face, which is burning, so... It's like they're catering to ignorant Americans. I don't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> Casa Grande. But it's just kind of funny. It's not a big deal. Oh, we got to stop with that. Because I don't the want... The lake, Toxic Shock Lake. Like, just a sunburn on the side and then, like, hail as ever on the side. Like, that wouldn't make any sense. So, okay, okay. So, the mailman. She looks so mischievous. I don't know if you guys can see him, but... I just found something out. Okay. So I know a lot of people are probably like, oh my God, Emerlyn, that's so obvious. But sometimes I'll get packages in the mail. I literally got three packages today, but <laughs> sometimes I'll get the packages that are like in the bag and like there's always like a hole in it. And I'm like, did someone like look in the mailbox and try to see what it was and see if yes. they wanted it or something? Like that's where my mind goes. No. I just saw the mailman put a hole in the bag with his finger to make it Get to the where air it out. Fit inside of the mailbox. Mm -hmm. So that's why there's always holes in the bags. Duh, Amberlynn. So we are at air. That's kind of smart, right? So first appointment. And yep, walk to the tree. I want to walk to the tree. It's storming really bad. Yeah, it's, um, it is weird to see her outside. I'm talking in crazy. nature. The thunder and the lightning is like so intense. The thunder sound <laughs> Becky pointed this out. It sounds like if you believe in God, it sounds like God is literally Right, who's gonna wear her six XL clothes? Bowling. That's what I've been told my whole life. <sighs> Yeah, it sounds like God is bowling and I was like, that's cute. That's a good way of putting it. Oh, I thought she meant bawling. God is bowling? Oh my god. Um Okay. Um No. Jesus is weeping for us. That's what it um, is. Um 
It looks worse in real person than it does. In real person, in real life, you mean? Yeah, whatever. Babe, can you please go in? I'm actually legitimately you scared. Go in this? I don't know what to do. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the old Hyundai. <laughs> She's not even faced. But yeah, we got Dunkin' Donuts. I got a water. She got this pina colada situation. Are they gonna take a drink into a restaurant? Dana. Right? Dana's the only one that could have worn those clothes. Is there a tornado? Yeah. I don't like this. Me and my H2O. There's no way that she went to Dunkin' Donuts and just got a water and that's it. She probably got a donut. If she actually got a water, then she got food of some kind. I mainly needed this for my medicine, so... She doesn't seem like a donut girly, though. You know what I mean? You would think she would be, but she's not. She doesn't eat donuts. When I take my medicine, I'll have something to drink because we're going to be out for a while. I'm not sure I want to be out because I feel like I'm in the middle of a tornado about to get like suctioned up and like I'm going to be flying with the like pigs and the cows and the pigs. At least I'll be amongst family. And cows. So, as you guys know, I sound like a What's wrong with her? reject. So I have been struggling with wisdom teeth. For oh. Girl, what is going on? That looks bleak. Yeah, by the way, yes, I'm wearing this and I wore it just the other day. It looks like she picked it up off of the floor and just threw it on. You are a donut girly. I love donuts. Oh my god. Um, the regular with white icing and sprinkles. That white icing is so good. Oh my god. You should have seen me earlier. It was bad. Um, literally. Or even just the glazed or just the original ones from like Dunkin', the original donut. Bomb. Bomb. I think the original is the least calories. <laughs> so it's healthy, right? I had pain in my wisdom tooth that hurt my whole face, all my other teeth. It was excruciating, <laughs> maddening. <laughs> I have been struggling with this for like 11 years, but it's only been getting worse. And I don't remember this. Wow. Saying goodbye after 11 years. The title of the video was about her pain. Slash teeth. Saying goodbye to teeth. I've been pro prolonging, like, getting it taken out. She prolonged it for 11 years? Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? And tooth pain is so difficult to deal with. Like, you can't sleep. You can't. I remember my tooth. Something was wrong with it. I couldn't sleep. Okay. I would wake up in the middle of the night and I couldn't fall back to sleep. But it finally, literally, this morning, I only got two hours of sleep. And they were rough anyways because my it was hurting so bad. Mm, I see couldn't what I mean? sleep. Finally, I was just like, I'm going to go to the dentist. You guys, I was so terrified and so freaked out. But moral of the story, <laughs> I got it taken out. I've never what the been heck, grateful for dude. anybody in my life. I wanted to give literally the dentist a hug. They were all so kind and patient. And I'm not even lying. I kept the tooth. <laughs> because this thing has ruined my life for so freaking long. I Did I thank Brooke M? Thank you, Brooke M, for the super chat. I can't remember if I thanked you. wanted to see what it looked like and I'm really shocked at how fast that whole situation was I always imagined getting your tooth pulled as like 
some like event that like took forever and like whatever he numbed my tooth or my whole side of my face it can with take three a while shots. and I want to say five shots. minutes later he came back and I was freaking out I was like wonder if I feel it did it up he's like I promise you won't so we tested oh my it gosh. out and I literally couldn't feel anything I have an interesting dentist just not really story but so I had a PD, pediatric dentist growing up and I used to hate going to the dentist. He was so rough. I had some teeth issues when I was younger too. So I had to get like a lot of stuff done and this pediatric dentist, he was so rough and he would jam the needle in and it was just traumatizing. So I thought that the dentist was always like that, that it was always painful, that it was always rough and horrible like that. But I went to, so I was like afraid of the dentist. And then I got a new dentist when I was an adult, obviously. Had to get a cavity filled. Didn't feel nothing. He was gentle. It was calm in the office. He wasn't running his mouth the whole time about nonsense like this other dentist. And I was like, why is that guy a pediatric dentist when he acts like that? Okay, rant over. I'm, I'm like, I wish I was exaggerating, but I promise I'm not. It was five seconds. I felt the biggest pool of my life, but it almost felt good. I don't know, those were no pain at all. And it was out of my mouth. Like, literally, this man changed my life. And I just feel beyond grateful. I sound crazy right now. I'm sure. But I am so grateful for this guy. Like, I don't have words. He was like an old man. He was so cute. And this old man, actually, he would go to Africa. And he helps um, over there with pulling teeth and stuff. So, yeah. Like, he just, I don't know. You can tell that he had a kind heart. And... I was crying the whole time. Like, I was an absolute mess. But I feel so much better now. I do wonder, like, how they got her in the chair. Um, well, I think the in some dentist chairs, the armrests go up. Like, like this chair, you know, just like this. Wait, you guys can't see that one. Oh, shoot. I skipped back to the beginning. No. Fast. That whole situation was. Relieved. So, I have to be eating soft foods. Can't use... When did I come out? Um, 16. 15 to my friends. I had, like, the bi, you know. A lot of gay guys come out as bi first so I had that by time <laughs> just to figure things out you know you know just figure things out it's no big deal but a lot of gay guys have like that by they're by first <laughs> straw um I have to change this out the gauze like every 20 to 40 minutes I'm about to go pick up a prescription, yada, 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 yada. Hey guys, so mm. I just woke up from a nap. I really needed it, but I'm hey money super or Momo. nauseous. I don't know where it is. It's 5 p.m. and I haven't ate, so Becky made me some buttery home-style mashed potatoes. I <laughs> oh my goodness, those are just flakes. Do you guys ever eat those flaky mashed potatoes? I can't. Because my grandma makes the most amazing mashed potatoes. I can't eat those. They're just not as good at all. I literally don't want them. <laughs> but I know I have to eat. And I'm feeling kind of like confused. because A tooth chair? Mm -mm. I'm supposed to take the gauze out to eat. But I just can't bring myself to put food in my mouth when I have a gaping hole in my mouth. It's so that was weird. her wisdom so, teeth removal. It seemed seems like it went pretty easy for her. I mean, or no. Um, when I got my wisdom teeth taken out, yeah, it was 
pretty easy. During my nap, I also did something really weird. Oh God, I'm nauseous. I don't know what's going on, but I did something really weird. I woke up and I was biting my tongue so hard. I bit my tongue so hard. Girly cute. I literally made my tongue numb. <laughs> Oh, there's like a little red dot. Oh, are you eating the potato flakes? <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyways, I I just feel like doo doo. So I'm gonna update you guys again. You doo doo head. I just hope I start feeling better. Y'all, this is what I would be eating. Becky made pork chops mushroom gravy. with mushroom gravy, baked potato, green beans. Those green beans look so good. I don't know what it is. I didn't do anything to them. <laughs> I had like a pinch of salt. I'm craving. You want a sound bite of the gaping hole? <laughs> gaping hole. Oh my gosh. You guys remember a couple of weeks ago we were talking about that guy that did the the YouTube video. Yes, YouTube of him removing hair from his backside and he showed his backside. like up close and personal on YouTube but it was entertainment I mean I mean educational not entertainment <laughs> if it's educational you can do it like you can do how to how to put on protection and because that's educational it's okay okay I mean Okay, but that was, wow. I did not expect it. He's an icon. <laughs> okay, so one person says he's an icon. Another person says he's a complete creep. What do you guys think? I try. I watched like a little bit of his videos. He gives like gay advice. His advice is pretty good. I mean... Use protection, get on prep, nair your hole. Decent advice, good advice. Obviously, prep and protection, that's good advice. Um, and I'm over here having chicken soup, so... I'm just going to try not to chew this. He's a cultural reason. And if I do, obviously chew on the other side of my mouth. He made a new one. What's his name again? I forgot what his name was. I won't be able to find him. I guess I could just type in Nair. Blank guy. Nair backside guy. <laughs> Hold on. I got to take my prep. Just kidding. <laughs> Kevin, right, Kevin, what was his channel name? Oh, I found him, Kevin Leonardo. Someone did a reaction to it. Interesting. Hmm. You're a side. I literally just found out what that was today. <laughs> I didn't know what that was. So, I am experiencing a little bit of pain, but I took some medicine. So, so this is home. It's honestly like the whole side thing. <clears throat> is tempting I want to be a side I'm just not feeling all the other stuff style chicken soup it's really good I added like a ton of pepper <laughs> I love pepper and soup y'all don't know what side is so side is you don't do backside stuff basically
just no back like everything else except for backside I love living vicariously through you. <laughs> that looks so good. Here, I take my first bite. It's Ooh, a gay a term. Taste test. Well, actually, no, it's not just a gay term. With Rebecca? I know this isn't going to be like, you know, my brother in law's, whose is amazing. Or well, ex brother in law's. <laughs> so here we go. The gays are out to play tonight. You like key? Mm hmm. <laughs> I can get Free all those Becky. green beans. Why, why do I want your green beans so bad? I mean, they are soft. <laughs> Amber wants her green beans. Girl, let Becky eat in peace. Like, she doesn't need to be filmed. No, I'll just stick with this. So, finished my soup. Um, I'm feeling okay. Took some medicine. Becky and I, a few days ago, we bought a GameCube and uh mario party four and five and it came in the mail today so i think we're going to play that um the instructions for my tooth is like no bending don't do like a lot of activities for the next couple of days oh she's talking fine now which <laughs> that's not gonna be too hard for me because hi no. i really wanted to film a video today which sucks because I got a new purse and I really wanted to do an, like an unboxing situation, but... As if people want to watch her unbox some crappy purse. Oh wait, there's a new Addison Ray album? No. I haven't heard it, but I love the song Obsessed by Addison Ray. It's so good. You say you're obsessed with me. Addison Ray EP <gasps> with Charlie XCX. She has a song with her. Oh my God. Added to library. I was too impatient. So I already opened the purse, <laughs> but I'm probably going to do like what's in my purse or something like that. Um, so you guys can see my new purse. I don't know if that'll be up before this or what. Plus on top of being impatient, like I was in a little bit of pain earlier and like I was feeling nauseous as you guys know. But anyways, I want to end this vlog. Oh, Amber. I'm starting to get slop happy as she says. Is it one o'clock yet? Oh my God, it's one o'clock. It's time for us to bounce. To all the people who wanted me to get my wisdom tooth out, it finally happened. So yay for me. Who wanted her? Girl, we could care less. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Obviously, yeah, the the freaking commenters care more about her health than she does. It's pretty obvious. Hey Persia. I'm actually getting off, but hello. It's one o'clock here in the morning. I gotta go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on tonight's live stream i will catch you guys probably not tomorrow but tuesday well will i <laughs> i'm going to the beach so i will see you guys soon i might post tuesday i'm definitely gonna like try to fit some work in there for youtube work um during my trip because i just like to you know it's good to hustle a little bit even on your vacation so i will catch you guys very soon Thank you and bye-bye. Have a great week. Good night, everyone. Bye.